play ball. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. And welcome to the balls, balls bracket. bracket. We're doing a bracket of balls. What's the best ball? We're going to find out 64 balls on the board. <laughs> Only one's balls going to win. What's the best ball balls in our court today. Bowling. <laughs> it's a Jim Jones reference. I'm going to have a hard time being here. For I'm going to have a heart attack <laughs> someday. Up. I think probably. Yeah. All the Coke and stuff. No, we have new merch on copes.shop. Go pick something up over there. We have a Patreon. It's $5 a month, or you can become a member on the main channel by clicking the join button. We also have a newsletter powered by beehive. It comes out every Friday at noon, Eastern standard time. Holy smokes. We got the stuff, don't we? We sure do. All right, let's get into these balls. Show me your balls, Riley. There's not a picture of my scrotum on this. Is there? There's a picture of a scrotum. (laughs) Stay tuned. (laughs) We got basketball versus hamster ball. I like this one because if I shoot the hamster ball like a basketball, it's double the fun. Ah, that's If I swish a hamster from 30 feet, from the logo, if I logo drop a hamster, (laughs) (laughs) then it opens up and it hurts it. I love the picture of this basketball. It's looking to the side. (laughs) Yeah, it's a nice, sexy profile. The weirdest angle to look at a basketball. Yep. It does look like that nice, grippy leather. It looks like a mouse pad. Yeah, it does. It's so (laughs) flat looking. Yep. And uh, that hamster's trapped in there. It doesn't look to be having... I like when the hamster runs in the hamster ball, but when he's just standing up like, let me out. Yeah, I had a ferret ball for my guy Milo. It was bigger, obviously. And then correct me if I'm wrong, you and your friends filled that ball with marijuana smoke. I filled a gumball machine with right. blunt smoke, and that was uh, Cletus the ferret. Oh, different ferret. Yeah. Okay. I do. Cletus and Milo. I'm going to go with hamster ball here. Oh, I'm going basketball. I don't care about hamsters. I think I'm allergic, and they're gross. It's just like a glorified rat. Don't like putting creatures in balls anyway. I like a spherical prison. Yeah, I'd rather put it on a little leash. That'd oh. be cute. <laughs> a little harness for it and when mm. it gets, when it does something bad, you, you kind of twerk it up at you like a yo-yo. Uh-huh. <laughs> You put them in your pocket. You changed my mind. I'm going basketball. Yeah, I don't know I, really what I was thinking. I love basketball. I love basketball. I love shooting it. I love dribbling it. Yeah. I like uh, lay. I, it's my favorite sport to play by a mile. Yeah. Ooh. It's like third for me. Third? Yeah. Golf and ultimate frisbee? Probably, yeah. Mm, okay. I don't think frisbee is going to be on here. Cricket? You don't play cricket. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Basketball moves on. That ball. Hamster ball is, is my, my favorite, favorite sport. sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Now we got bowling ball versus butterball turkey. Oh, the butterball turkey. Oh, yeah. Okay. I used to have a killer butterball turkey visor that I got from my friend Hantis because he used to volunteer there around uh, Thanksgiving time. Oh, nice. And by volunteer, I mean work. (laughs) I don't mean volunteer. He got paid handsomely. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's the only way he knows how to get paid. That's a handsome fella. That is a handsome fella. I love a bowling ball. Yeah. I love that it looks like a little face going... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really can't beat that. And turkey is beyond overrated. Turkey is like a lame ass. It's, it's a like whole a, holiday for that meat. Yeah, I um, don't. It doesn't deserve its own holiday. No, and it would be fun to roll one of these down a lane. Yeah, yeah, if absolutely. You, if you buttered a lane instead of greased it, and uh, you rolled turkeys down it at like corn stalks instead of bowling pins. Corn stalks. There's a part of me, a youthful part of me, that thinks it'd be really fun to take a bunch of butterball turkeys up to the top of a hill and just kind of roll them down and see yeah. what happens. And just watch them get dismembered and stuff. Yeah. Bro, um, I'm with you, man. Yeah, I'm going to go with bowling ball, Me though. too. It'd be funny to put butter in the bowling ball holes of your buddy's balls. Wait, they don't love, love you like I love, love you. you. Beach ball versus fast ball, the band. Fast ball, the band? Who's yeah. that? Uh, they were like a like 90s, early 2000s thing. Kinda, Holy denim. Kind of guys... punk rock situation. Yeah. These mm. guys grab ass. I don't know. Maybe. I mean... Hopefully consensually. Yeah. I don't know much about the band other than my dad liked one song by them. And I don't thought like, it was a good name for a band. I don't like them. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go with Beach Ball. Yeah, Beach Ball is kind of annoying, but if you're saying if one gets bounced towards you, you're not going to keep it up in the air, what kind of person are you? Right. <laughs> like, I don't like the guy who sees a Beach Ball come right by him and goes... Pfft. And lets it land. That person is void of joyed. Void of joyed. Joyed division. <laughs> That's just the name of that band. With like just pronounced weird. What, do you got another joke for the segment? Is for that... the segment? Yeah, for this little segment. Do you yeah, any... sure. Okay. Uh, I remember when I went to Bonnaroo and there was a one guy with a sharp object just popping all the beach balls at one of the sets. And I couldn't decide whether I liked him or hated him. It was kind of like a, it went up and down. It's a little sadistic, but I like it. Yeah, he seemed kind of like a loon. Yeah, kind of joker. 
And with society the way that it is nowadays, I totally understand being Joker. Wait, they don't love you like I love you. Any of those jokes will do for this segment. I, I don't think we should do like a quota. Oh, you did a boom. Yeah. You didn't even have to say it. <laughs> That's the Rizzler face. Yeah. Um, I don't think that you should think about this as segments. That's all I do. And do quotas and stuff. Yeah. I don't think. I think we do play, play it fast and loose. We're good here. Let's uh, do beach ball and cut. Ready? Now tell me when it's next segment. <laughs> That's, this is going to be a very awkward video if we continue to do it this <laughs> oh. You can put that where, after any of your jokes. Okay. So it looks like I like them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, yeah, beach ball moves on. Ooh. Ski ball versus bouncy ball. I F with bouncy balls, dude. Me too. Like a super ball. Mm -hmm. Ones that really got that doing in them. And I'd get some and you'd, you'd sneak them into the gym and you'd let them rip. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, uh, I remember, even in college, I yeah, think I did that. But I remember letting a couple really rip in a gym. We'd go to like an assembly, and I'd let one rip, and then I'd walk normal, and it'd be like, ding, ding. <laughs> like hitting <laughs> yeah. people, and I'd be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, I, I was thinking a gym. I understand what you mean now. A gym, like a pep rally. Yeah, a gymnasium. Right. I was thinking a workout gym. What the heck? Why did you? Why did you do that? Because it messes up all the hunks in there <laughs> trying to get <laughs> buff. <laughs> Yeah, and there's a lot of bouncy surfaces yeah. inside of there. You like know? asses. Physiological needs. A girl with freckles bouncing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that on Twitter yesterday. Is that going to work? I like it, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You like freckles? Uh, no, someone on Twitter does. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't like freckles. Hate them. <laughs> yeah, I try yeah. to wipe them off. Every yeah, time there's a girl with freckles, I'm like, let me wipe those off for you. To me, they look like stains. <laughs> You look stained. You're you're tainted. Yeah, and you don't look like the band stained because they look good. And you look like stained. Like, oh. like you went mudding. Mm -hmm. You look like a Jeep that went mudding. Looks like you got sprayed. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can see the stain on my shirt, it's not what you think it is. What do you think people think it is? I don't want to talk about that disgusting stuff. A skee ball could be a good weapon. Right. I love playing <laughs> skee ball. Imagine whipping a skee ball at an old woman in an arcade. I'm nasty at skee ball. I'm sorry that we're on different pages here, yeah, but I'm really good at skee ball. Okay. I played it in Cleveland with, I think it was you and Hunter, I and I set it, the record. I played it in college. There wasn't a college team <laughs> of skee ball. I went to a very weird niche school. <laughs> you went to the same school I did for no, most of the time. No. <laughs> yeah, huh? For two years. And I then before that, you went to Ohio Wesleyan. For three. Oh, <laughs> so right. what's most of the time, cock? Forgive me. Imagine sir. whipping a skee ball on an old woman in an arcade. That could be it for her. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, if, even if you hit her in the chest, it might like break her heart. Much less would do. <laughs> <laughs> he dies in his life. <laughs> what the hell? He does, like, the wrist Don't face. do that. Why? You're, you're leaning too hard on Gen Alpha slang. I'm just doing it because you're like Jimmy Fallon in the way that you're an alcoholic. You're talking Hello. About, you're talking about me? Yeah. Being an alcoholic? Can't wait to have a beer later. Yeah. I'm going to go with bouncy ball. <laughs> yeah, I go with bouncy ball too. Ski ball is a game. And if I'm just judging the ball of the game, although it is hard and an excellent weapon for an old woman who may be evil. Let me put that out there. It's not unjustified violence. She's an evil woman. She hits her grandkid. And I'm like, evil hey, woman, whoops. evil woman. No, that was like the, <laughs> what the that hell? was like the Chinese song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my bad. Yeah, that was. I don't yeah. know about that, man. Pussy boy. <laughs> All right, let's go bouncy ball, pussy boy. All right, <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> Balls bracket. All right, power ball versus bocce ball. Oh, bocce ball is a great game. Talk about this is like a ski ball made out of lead. They are heavy as dick. Yeah, but it's like a rich person sport. What? No, it's not. Is it's it? Like no, it's like you can play it anywhere, and they're bocce just like, ball. it's just a bag of heavy balls. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, don't, I think I've played bocce ball but once in my life. It's very fun. I played it in the sand dunes once, which mm. kind of takes out the, the point of the game. You're supposed to be able to like give it a nice finesse roll mm. and like let it creep up on the white ball. But in sand, you just have to chuck it the whole distance. Yeah, well, what is the, what's up with, what's the deal with and what is going on with sand? <laughs> what's happening with and uh, what's the whole situation with and what exactly do you make of this whole thing in this situation with sand? It used to be rocks. Okay. I just noticed when I was there at the beach and also the dunes and a place uh, with plentiful sand, lots of it. A lot of little ones. And it seems like the texture 
it it's harder to walk on, walk with. Yeah, you ever get some in your mouth? Ouch. I got some in my nose last weekend. You snorted sand? Yeah, I thought it was something else. Oh, God. <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably thought it was heroin. That's like usually the color of. Yeah, okay. I watched Pulp Fiction and I got some big ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Um, Split a milkshake later? Lactose free, of course. For I me. was going to say, I can't. For me, boy. Hey, how many voices are you going to do today? <laughs> as many as I can. Okay. Right. Yeah. I, can you tell you, you can talk about the Powerball now. I know that's your favorite thing ever. I don't. Re- that's like the worst form of gambling. Oh, uh, okay. It's so lame. Let me pick numbers and wait until five. It's like so old school. Mm -hmm. Now, instant gratification is what we want. I want to bust quick and get it on over with. The longest I'll wait is Keno. Powerball is like you go in in the morning, you're like 86. My daughter's birthday is on the 18th. Give me that. My grandma died on the 23rd. Give me that. And then you, at the end of the day, you miss it and you go, damn it, I always play 69. I go bocce ball. Great game. Classic. I go Powerball because it's classic. Grant? Powerball. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. not really a ball. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a ball that chooses the number. Uh, it's paper. Cricket ball versus hair ball. Oh. Cricket balls look awesome. Yeah, this one's really fancy. I've mostly mm. played with cricket balls that just look like bocce balls for the most part. Mm. I think they might be interchangeable. <laughs> I like this one. It's like engraved with a bird on it. And yeah. it's a uh, Kookaburra County staff. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. tree. Mary Mary is a, is he. That. Damn it, that. It like must be. Don't, I don't think we should be doing that. I know. You said that in the first video, but it, I think it went over really well. I hate a hairball. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Cats get them good from licking themselves. Yeah. My dog has acid reflux. Ugh. Prayers up, please. Jesus. Um, and every time that he drinks water, he coughs it up. And my mom, every single time without fail, goes, oh, goes, oh hairball. Yeah, my mom <laughs> does that too with all of our dogs. If they're coughing or if when we had cats, she go, oh. Hairball. And my mom does it, and it, it's a very sweet thing that she does. She goes, oh, hairball, and looks directly at me like, that was funny. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, mom, you know what? It was funny. That's still <laughs> gross. Hairballs are disgusting. Oh, yeah, they're disgusting. Absolutely. Give me the cricket ball. Yeah, I'll do the cricket ball. Even if it was a ball of crickets, I would choose it. I was going to say, what does it have to do? Why is it called, and what's the deal with, and how is the situation with the naming mm. of the game cricket? It's the most uh, popular game in the country, or in the world, rather. So. I believe it's soccer and then cricket. No, cricket is. Nah, uh, are you sure? I think so. I'm pretty sure soccer is the most popular. Explain India then, pal. What was that? Explain India then, pal. Okay. Yeah, you're you're tiptoeing towards it. I understand that. Tiptoeing towards going, what? What the accent? Not an Indian accent. I was doing more of like a, a British Indian guy. Oh, okay. A colonizer, if you will. Yeah. Great. Mostly due to just how my appearance. I feel like I'm probably better for that role. Brindian. What's the cricket's name from Pinocchio? Uh, Geppetto? He's the man who made the puppet. Jesus Christ. He's got like an uncle who's a cricket or something. Pinocchio does, right? I think it's Geppetto. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the cricket's got a different name. It's something ridiculous, too. Wait, is he a G- Geppetto? He makes a little wooden boy, comes alive. And the nose grows and he programmed it that way? Yikes. Yeah, I think- The writing was kind of on the wall the whole time. Right, right. He's like, I'm not a pedo. I'm Geppetto. That's just my name. It's Geppetto. (laughs) That that dude came up and called you a pedo. No, he called me Geppetto, which is my name. He's Geppetto. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Geppetto-file. Yeah, cricket ball for us. What's the name of the cricket, Grant? Jiminy Cricket. Oh, yeah. Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. How did I forget that? Jiminy Christmas. People say that. Chimney Christmas. That's <laughs> where does Santa come? Chimney Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> That's good, I think. Chimney Christmas. <laughs> Just trying stuff out. That's enough jokes <laughs> for this segment. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Cracking beer stirring this, Grant? Totally. Uh, I'll take one. Obviously. Stress ball versus eight ball pool. I love the eight ball because it can be a magic eight ball, too. Well, we'll get to that later. It's like an eight ball's final. Eight ball corner pocket. You can say that. Stress ball's fun, but... Yeah, I honestly think stress ball, that's kind of obsolete at this point. Mm -hmm. If you have to squeeze something because you're stressed, you need to be on SSRIs or Xanax or Clonopin or be seeing a therapist or lock them up, keep them in a room by themselves till they lose their mind, stuff like that. I say that's why God gave me a cock. If I get stressed... I get to put my hands down my pants and just squeeze on my cock. Really? In a non-sexual way. Right. You know what I mean? Just like, Uh uh-huh. How you doing, fella? (laughs) But there's a lot of people watching right now who do not have penises. True. And what are they supposed to squeeze? They got other stuff. Oops. Boobies, butt. 
That's weird, though, right? No, it's not. Is it? It's weird if you do it. Well, I'm stressed. I don't know. Stress ball is weird. It feels antiquated. It's also like a lot of other things. Like, it's like a stuffed animal or like whatever. Yeah. My mom has a worry rock. A worry rock? It's like a little smooth rock that's like has like a bit of a divot in it mm -hmm. and she'll hold it like this and she rubs her thumb on it. Humans have so many coping mechanisms for things. It's very interesting. I don't really, it's just like a fidget thing. No, I know. That's what I mean. Yeah. There's a lot of like fidget mechanisms. It's a or native like stress, fidget spinner. I guess. Indigenous spinner. I feel like low key, your mom is a crystal lady. No, she does like rocks, but. She doesn't like charge them up and believe in powers of them. She just likes how they look and feel. That's like my mom saying that she is plant based, not vegan. Because my mother's an association with being into like crystals and being a vegan and stuff nowadays for Why young people. You're always people? pitting our moms against each other. Just let them live. I'm not. I'm saying they're very similar. Yeah, just let them live, dude. I'm trying to point out similarities between them and maybe they should get dinner and talk about it. Ugh. I feel like they would, could get along. My mom doesn't get along with anyone. My mom would text all dinner with your mom. She'd be like, yeah, my mom wouldn't like that. No. Yeah, she wouldn't. <laughs> She'd maybe find something funny on Facebook and show it to her. Uh -huh. And your mom might be like, that's bad. I'm going eight ball here easy. And it can be, uh, you know what I mean. Yep, I'm going eight ball. Now we got oddball versus ball as in crying. That's really how you spell like I'm balling? Yeah. I've never spelled that because I'm not weak, but I guess I never knew. Uh, that's also, I love that this is an oddball. It is odd. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it's odd, but. Everything about it's odd. The font. The, <laughs> the shape. Yeah, the shape. Shape doesn't look like it's really a ball of any kind. I like oddball way more here. Crying sucks. Um, I try not to do it. Crying is feels if it's good. You gotta ah, cry sometimes. Nope. Yeah, nope you gotta nope, get nope. it out. Iron trap. That's what I always say. Iron trap. Iron trap, keep them in, don't let them out. That's what I always You do. have to let out your emotions sometimes. Eh, maybe later. And it feels good to ball, like to really cry. Maybe later. Oh, shit. It is like coming. Not much of a difference for you. You always do one after the other. Yeah, it doesn't matter which order either. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes it's an endless cycle, too. I ball, I come, I ball, I come, I ball, I come. And I'm like, oh, why did I come? Uh, you know? <laughs> oh. I don't like thinking about that stuff. We have a friend who has an odd number of balls. Zach. One. Yeah, that is an odd number. an odd number, yeah. Shout out Zach Piona. Sh shout out to Zach Piona. He has one ball. Who's the other guy in his show? Walid. Wal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Walid from Netflix. <laughs> Walid from Netflix. Yeah, it's, yeah. again, it's Walid. We know him in real life. He's a good friend of ours. This is a good guy. Yeah, you just say his name wrong. Let's go, oddball. Yes. Damn it, Walid. <laughs> Exercise ball versus disco ball. Disco ball is electric. I have one in my house. It's actually not electric. That's what's so amazing about it. Is it is amazing. It's a natural reflective phenomena. Kinda. Yeah, totally. Dude, man, when the light really hits it right and it sprinkles a party all over the dance floor. I want to be forever young. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh -uh. Girls in dresses, guys in suits. Okay. You know, they're slow dancing. Disco ball illuminating the entire place. Oh, see, I'm imagining more like Saturday night, did you be in the spot? <laughs> Don't believe it, just watch. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, I guess it is called <laughs> a. You know? It's called a disco ball, not a ballad ball. Yeah, no, um, I don't. I don't picture slow dance. Which is what a, <laughs> which is what a uh, uh, person who's in the blood gang would call a salad ball. Ballad ball. <laughs> Let's have a ballad ball for lunch. All right, and continue with the disco stuff. I had some sex on an exercise ball once. That was fun. Did you really? Yeah. Okay, now explain that situation. Kind of like a crabbing deal, and like a, I don't know. It was fun. And what's going on with that? And also uh, in terms of the situation <laughs> and it. having to do with the with having India? sex on the. I don't know. With India? I don't think it has anything to do with India. Oh, I thought you meant that was the name of the woman that you had sex with on the exercise ball. Don't think so. Sexercise ball. Sexercise yeah. ball. Yeah, there's nice. a lot of stuff we could do there. Yeah. Uh, so it was just kind of normal. I mean, it was freaky. I've never had sex on a like a ball before. Uh huh. It was kind of exciting. Yeah. And it felt a little dangerous. But it wasn't? You didn't get hurt? I don't think so. Okay. Emotionally, yeah. Did you have exercise? Like, did you feel yeah, exercise? I had there? some exercise. <laughs> okay. Last yeah. night I had an exercise. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going disco ball, though. It's way better. I do like the videos where the kids, like, you run at your little brother with the ball. <laughs> and you're holding it. Oh, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had these in my basement. Yeah. We would just bounce around on them. Same. This is something your mom bought, like, in theory. She was going to use it, right. and then it just became your big toy. <laughs> yeah, my mom did use them growing up, yeah. but then, and she would be, like, mad because we would throw them all over the basement and just kind of... Break shit. Yeah, we would just mess around. Yeah. I knocked my brother into the wall one time. He got a concussion. Your mom and dad used them? I don't think so. 
I don't know. Be electric. It's not electric. That's the what's amazing about it. <laughs> did you did you stand on both sides of the exercise ball with the person that you're having sex with and and both like boing <laughs> boing? <laughs> did you like hump towards the ball like boing boing and feel it on each other's Johnsons or sorry Johnsons and Smith on your Johnson and her Smith? Her Smith. That's what people call it. Easily. Disco ball. Enough jokes in this segment. <laughs> Stop <laughs> with the joke quote. It's not a joke. It's quota. a conversation. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. If people think this is a conversation, they've been led astray. What's that one song that's in a bunch of movies that's like, uh, I'll stop the world and melt with you. It's, it's getting, getting different, different and it's time the time. <laughs> it's all the time. Yeah, that's I'll a, stop the world and melt with, with you. you. That yep. song is so good, dude. Okay. And we should listen to it later. Mm. All right. Disco ball. Now we got football versus Lucille ball. I hated the way Lucille ball talked. Her voice is fucking annoying. It's over exaggerated. I hate this era of life in general. We live in such a better world now. And football is amazing. <laughs> it's past time. And I think this is what the NFL ball should look like. Absolutely naked. This feels like a football without a shirt on. And no logo whatsoever on it. You couldn't buy that if you wanted. Where would you buy that football? Dick's Sporting Goods? No, it would say Dick's on it or Spalding or Wilson or Nike. We don't know what the other side says. Maybe it has a logo on there. A logo on one side. It's wearing assless chaps. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> I don't think about it as clothes on I football. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> okay. You know what? I like Lucy. I don't love Lucy, but I like her. Ricardo! <laughs> <laughs> is that her name? Is his no, name? I don't know. His name was Ricardo, I, I hate think. her. Yeah, well, okay, that's rude. She I was a great, look. great actor. Ah. One of the great comedic actresses. Absolutely of the time. obnoxious.com. Football brings me more joy than anybody in this world has on their own. Mm. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with that because if it weren't for that oblong little leather thing, I don't know if I'd still be around if you catch my drift. Hey, can you explain that situation and kind of having to do with and what you mean by and also where the phrase that you said mm -hmm. and the statement of uh, I would maybe wouldn't be around yeah. anymore? No, I'm not going to get into that. I think the people at home, the viewer at home knows. Right. I love football as well. And like I said, I only like Lucy. So I'm going to go with football. I'd love to see her run a slant route, though. Now we got paintball versus lowball. Paintballs are kind of awesome. Just the way they're constructed and how they break. I always hated the culture of paintball. And then I played it on a uh, bachelor party trip to the, the woods. Yeah. We camped and we played paintball and it was fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It had, did have a weird culture kind of in our childhood. Yeah, it was the violent kids. Yeah, it was like violent kids and it was like almost adjacent to like the motocross kids or something because mm -hmm. it, it it was kind of a pricey hobby and you could really flex out on the gun and you kind of had to have like a dumb dad who like bought dumb shit to yeah like get into it with you and he'd dump like 800 bucks on you my dad was like what do you mean how about you get grab a paint can and paint the fucking barn you <laughs> bum and i was like oh shit <laughs> he got me there pops but i did get lit up by a friend's older brother paintball wise <laughs> for stealing their neighbor's concord grill grapes which is a weird thing to shoot people over mm -hmm. um, but we figured out his neighbor had concord grapes and i started raiding that shit favorite fruit of all time one of my favorite foods of all time mm -hmm. i was dumping bucket like give me all these and then out came ryan <laughs> lit me up covered in welts and pain yeah it was kind of like a rich kid whose parents had marital problems that yep. was kind of the people who played paintball yeah for sure concord grapes are delicious and Oof. i would steal them even if i was going to get welts probably yeah yeah and then i remember like running and being like crying and being like so upset being like he took that too far right like, why did he hurt me so much over someone else's grapes and then that night at the high school football game that we all went to, uh, his mom made him apologize. And it was funny. One of those moments where she was like, yeah, he was like, sorry for lighting you up with a paintball gun. And I was like, it's whatever. And that was it. And she was like, thank you. Uh, low ball. And though doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. Bartering. Oof, it's so it's awesome. It's a <laughs> rush. Hey, hey man, it's a hundred bucks. Listen, dude, I'll give you a 30. <laughs> and they're like, Oh, I can't do that. Can you do 65? Uh -huh. I'll be like, listen, I only got 40 on me. That's yeah. about as high as I can go. I love low balling on Depop. Something's like $120 on Depop. I go, I'll give you two bucks for it. <laughs> yeah. I've never had Depop or I've never done it. It's fun, man. Yeah. It's fun, man. Yeah. It's All a right. good time. It's a app where um, people can post their clothes. And yeah. Can, uh, I know what it is. It's kind 
kind of like a marketplace for clothing. Um, a lot of vintage resellers on there. It's really cool. Uh, they got Margellis. Yeah, you can get Margellis on there. <laughs> Sick, dude. I, well, I really want to. I really want some Margellis. Can you get Homer Simpson shirts? Yeah, there's some Homer Simpson stuff oh, on there for sure. If I yeah. if I stepped out this weekend in Margellis in a Homer Simpson shirt, I yeah. think people would fucking flip their lids. Amory jeans. Um, yeah, I don't like those. They got Gator socks. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Gator socks are a big thing on there. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, man. That's cool. It's a lot of fun. I think I'm going to take low ball. I think I'm going to take low ball as well. And that's enough for that segment. Yeah, I'm good on that. Ping pong ball versus eyeball. Dude, why don't they make ping pong balls that look like eyeballs? They dude? do. It was the special ball at my friend's ping pong table growing up. If we played sting pong, that one counted for two points. It's obvious. Nice. Yeah, and it kind of reminded me of the uh, intro to Tony Hawk Tony Pro Skate. Yep, yep. I was going to say Every the same time. thing. And eyeballs, I mean, listen, if this were a keep one, leave one situation, obviously I'd take ping pong balls, pop two of those in my eye sockets and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? A ping pong song by Enrique Iglesias. <sighs> Do you know what it feels like loving someone? Pigeons playing ping pong. It's a jam band. Fuck yeah, they rock. Yeah, and then eyeball. Eyeballs are like, honestly, probably the most impressive organ on the human body besides the cock or schmeckle. Right. Um, but... <laughs> The way they turn just light into images and allow us to like uh, visualize the world. Oh, it's crazy. It's un like if you dig four pages into a book about eyeballs, you won't believe it. You're yeah. like, huh? <laughs> yeah, the rest of it's like, okay, yeah, you feel stuff when yeah, it hits you. Totally. And this is like, it does a million different things. Yeah, we're like turning photons into shit we see. What? Yeah. I don't get it. And people have different color of eye. Like, yeah. Like, well, if you really stare into someone you love or hates eyes too, Whoa. You get information. Yeah. Your brain processes information from looking into the reflective balls that help us see. Yeah, and mine are failing me. They're getting really bad. Yeah. I couldn't read whether it was shampoo or conditioner in the shower today, and that thing's, like, right in front of me, and I was like, what? And then I had to grab it and be like, all right, that's conditioner. <laughs> it was bad. They're getting rough. Uh, quick thing to call you out on here. Balls don't fail me now. You uh, recently said you don't use shampoo or conditioner. Yeah, I'm, yeah. So why would you have to read that? Okay, I'll admit it. I accidentally washed my hair with body wash to start. It was one of those groggy morning things. I hit the body wash a bunch of times and I just went... And put it all in my hair. <laughs> I know, that's embarrassing. Right. And then I As felt, someone who doesn't wa isn't washing their hair at all, what's the even the I instinct? do wash my hair. I wash my hair with shampoo about once or twice a week. Once or twice. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so I hit it because it was it was rough. I wore a hat all yesterday. I needed a wash. Uh-huh. And so I hit it with the body wash, and I was like, oh, it's fucking stuff. But <laughs> I washed the rest of my body smooth, nice, strong, hairy in some spots, bare in the others. But then I went back up to feel my hair, uh -huh. and I was like, ah, that's starchy and weird. Body wash will leave your hair feeling weird. Yeah, totally. It's meant yeah, for. It's, it's meant for your butt hair and stuff. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll condition it to get that softness back today. Because I also figured I'd wear a hat again today, and if it was real soft, whatever. And I couldn't see it. I had to go to do this. So what you mean to say is that you're a liar. No, I don't mean to say that. Why would oh. I, I mean to explain this? That's just what I got from the story. Yeah, and what I got from the way you look is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. yeah, and That's... the way you talk is like... <clears throat> Right. That's what I get from it. So right. But I wasn't gonna share that. Yeah, you did. Oh well, you did too. You called me a liar. So right, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Okay. What if you opened up your scrotum and that's what was <laughs> inside? What if we do have eyeballs inside of our scrotum? We wouldn't know because we're not doctors. Well, we'd be able to see, I guess. What if it's not hooked up? What if you just have to plug it in? I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody's ball come out of their scrotum? No. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, I watched BME Pain Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy killed himself after he did that, too. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty crazy. Chopped his cock up for online viewership and then whammy. All right. I'm, eyeball for me. I, yeah, it's eyeball. I'd yeah. love to grab one. I love a bowl of, like, skinless grapes at a Halloween party. Now we got Pokeball versus Spitball. I hate all that raw fish and stuff. Oh, that. Okay, Pokemon. Oh, you, you're thinking Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> Poke bowl. Acai bowl. Uh, booyah base. 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> we right. should have a like a low tier college football. Like uh, the welcome back to the Pokey Bowl. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They don't really do the bowl games anymore though, right? Sure they do. There's just a 12 team playoff and then the mm. other people play the bowls. Well, a Pokey Ball is kind of a mysterious contraption that traps huge animals inside of like a little machine ball. I don't think they're animals. I think they're Pokemon. Well, yeah, but they're kind of like animals, a lot of them. Yeah, but isn't there like theories that they like it's like all it's like a virtual world or something and they're like it's kind of like like a matrix fight or something and maybe it's just like digitizing them yeah i mean that would be digimon because that's in the name i'm pretty sure they're real <laughs> uh all i know is it's kind of like a mary poppins purse situation where like a huge thing a huge mm -hmm. being can mm -hmm. be trapped inside of a tiny little ball at all times i like when you take them to the hospital they just charge the balls they're in yeah. It's not like they take them out and, like, tend to their wounds. They just take the balls they're in and they, like, put them in, like, egg cartons. And I kind of imagine that's what the future is going to be like when we upload our consciousness to, like, a little, like, a flash drive or something. They just kind of charge us up. Yeah. And then we, like, pop out. Bing! Yeah, and we're good. Yeah. We pop out and we're always 25. Yeah, pop out and show people sometimes. Mm -hmm. Spitballs are all right. I liked hitting them with a straw. I would do it in restaurants and stuff. Uh, but a spit wad was better right I'd, I'd chew I, up like a half piece of paper and i'd go to the bathroom and i'd throw it on the ceiling right yeah i hate spitballs i hated the people who did it oh i it. was like the kind of person who was like fucking pissed if i got hit by one well yeah because you were the one getting shot with them well obviously <laughs> yeah look so, at me <laughs> of course yeah. you hated it mm -hmm. me and the boys would drive by and shoot you at your locker <laughs> yeah it wasn't like actually you it was just people like you the jocks and the bullies yeah yeah so i it wasn't i just wanted to make clear to the people out there that you weren't actually doing drive-bys at my locker <laughs> the weed salesman <laughs> it was more like scott and joe and andy brent it's good jandy you don't just combine people's names <laughs> yeah like i that. do whatever i want pokeballs for the win have you seen that anaconda that was playing pokemon go and he definitely knows what he's doing what like, someone's what, holding like a snake <laughs> someone's holding their phone and it's got, they're like, have a Pokemon in their sights. Mm. They're holding a giant snake and the snake's head is out and it's going and throwing the Pokeballs at it. And it like adjusts and it's like short and it gives it a little more and it throws it more. And it's like, <laughs> that's real. What? Yeah, it's real. It like definitely knows it's what it's, at least it looks like it knows what it's doing. You know, what's crazy is Pokemon Go. There's still a lot of people playing that game. Oh, I feel like everyone I meet plays it. They just, kind of, it's kind of undercover. Yeah, people don't really talk about it the same way, but then you find out a lot of people are still playing this game. It came out yeah. in 2016 and it had like a huge moment. Yeah. And then it's still being played like every yeah, day. It's really fun. There's people doing meetups and shit. Oh, yeah. I know people in town that are like, that's the person that beat me to the Gyarados. They're like, oh, yeah, there's a Gyarados on Charlevoix the other day. They, didn't beat, they beat me. Uh and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, they get up early. They were up at like 6.30, like before work, and like hit a block walk <laughs> to catch a Gyarados. I remember in 2016, I was on vacation with my family, and we were in South Carolina, and it was the... <laughs> I had a, you all right there? Yeah, South Carolina, sorry. <laughs> Something got you. Yeah. Is that where you did this exercise ball thing? No, that's good memory. Oh, okay. That's what a good memory. Okay. Yeah. That's your good memory emote. But we were staying in like a beach house. It was like 2 a.m. and everybody was asleep. And I saw that there was a Gyarados on the beach and I wanted it. And I literally snuck out of the house as if I was like doing something I shouldn't <laughs> going like going crack. to drink or smoke weed <laughs> yeah. or something. I legitimately thought I was like, if I get caught, people are going to think I went to the beach to smoke weed. But I just ran down there and tried to catch the Gyarados. Didn't even catch fuck. it. It just, I ran out of balls and then came back and I was like, fuck. No one caught you though? No, but I should have smoked weed. Yeah, for basically sure. Basically what I think. Yeah, Pokeball for show. Tennis ball versus gotcha ball. Tennis ball, heavy favorite here for me. Cracking that can. Are you kidding me? When one's fresh out of the, it comes in a can. Yeah. Imagine if you bought basketballs in threes and had to go. Right. <laughs> All right, boys, let's play. Yeah, and it's fuzzy, but also bounces. Like... I like it has a lifespan. Uh-huh. And then it becomes a dog toy. Like in its retirement. <laughs> right. When it runs out of spring juice, <laughs> it becomes a pup toy in its retirement. Yeah, it's fantastic. And the dog don't give no goddamn. Uh-uh. Like it can literally go from the court of Wimbledon into like a three-legged slobbery beast's mouth in one lifetime. And that's beautiful. <laughs> it's fuzzy. And I love that it's so simple, but you can feel when one is losing its juice. Yeah. Like just in hitting it with another thing. Yeah, and you're like, ah, this and one's dead. You're like, dead. ah, this one's almost dead, or this one's dead, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, there's something amazing about it. I love that it's fuzzy and you can put spin on it because of yeah. the, the racket 
is like a, a netted thing. Yeah, so you can like like slice, you so can push, weird. you can put top spin on it. Yeah. It's a uh, fantastic I thing. hate a white tennis ball though. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be uh, bright, bright green. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those kind of at like new age country clubs. Mm-hmm. Mm, white tennis balls. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Also, so brat. Oh. <laughs> What's that? I was pushing my boobs together. Oh, like, it, okay. I don't know. I was being like slutty. Right. I know. That's not, again, that's not like the whole thing of, of brat. But that's like my angle. Yeah. That's your angle on brat. Yeah. Can I have an interpretation or do you Absolutely. want me to just play, play the dumb guy? What? You want me to just be an asshole idiot or do, can I have my own opinion on things? No, you can have your own opinion. I was just... What the hell's a gotcha ball? Is this what you pay for and you get a random thing in there? Yep. It's like, gotcha. Yep, 25 cents or some Lame. shit. It's probably like $3 now. It's probably like a stupid ploy of capitalism to take children's money to teach them how to become consumers. I used to like those things, though. I'm walking out of Kroger or something. I go, Mom, can I please have a quarter? And then I put the quarter in there. And then I, whoa, 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 it's a little something. Yeah, and then you never play with it. No, yeah, it's dumb. It's like a keychain. Whatever like, I'm like four. Yeah. What do I do? I need a keychain. Yeah, I don't have keys. Yeah. Tennis oh. ball for the win, man. Love to whip one at your head. Now, dodgeball versus ball of stress. Do people say you're a ball of stress? Yeah, I'm a ball of stress right now. Really? Mm-hmm. I like feel like I've heard that, but it almost feels dreamlike. Out of context, that doesn't. I don't know if I've ever heard. It's kind of like a clusterfuck, dude. I'm a ball of stress right now. Really? Yeah, people say that. Uh, but dodgeball. I mean, I could. I'll do my best to do the impression, but. Yeah, it's got that big rubbery. It's like not. It's, like, it's almost like tinny. It's, it's like almost, yeah, it's, it's not, like metallic. It's the not sound. blown all the way up. Right. Like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> There's something just so weird about that sound. It's like sloppy flappy. Yeah, and it boom. has it has like a high pitched frequency boom. in it. Yeah. It's like low and high. It does, it's like ding. It's yeah. like weird. And I love that pattern, that like cross hatch pattern that's mm. on it that makes it kind of grippy. grippy. It's <laughs> grippy. I used to play four square a lot with these. Yes, that was really all we were allowed to do with them because when it came to playing dodgeball, we had to use soft ones because I would whip them at the girls' heads. <laughs> yeah. In gym class, everybody had the soft ones, yeah. I feel like. And those ones were like barely a ball. That was almost like a plastic bag filled with a like crumpled up newspaper. Yeah, like old blanket. Yeah, it just felt like nothing. They were fun though. I still liked whipping them at girls' heads. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But yeah, if you got hit in the head with one of these, it would make you well up a little bit. Oh, like, it would ring your clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. And I, my eyes would water. I'd be yeah. like, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Yeah. I you know. I'm going with that. Ball of stress, whatever. Yeah, ball of stress is dumb. Yeah. Idiots. All right. Last one on the first side Tether Ball versus Ball State. Ooh, the Ball State Cardinals? Yeah, Ball State Cardinals. Tether Ball is awesome. I used to hit uh, the girls in their face with it when we'd play <laughs> at recess. Now, actually, yeah. I told this story before. The girl, They didn't let the girls play Tether Ball with us because the girls were bigger than us when Tether Ball was really popular. It was like at that weird age gap. Yeah, that puberty thing. Yeah, and they would smoke the. They would smoke us. I remember Katie ripping me a new one once. I was a big girl named Katie. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. She's a great girl. But yeah, ripped my head off one time and they were like, that's it. Girls get to play with the guys. And we were like, <laughs> did you have two tetherball things or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there was there girls and guys. Was it kind yeah, of like I a segregation so. situation? Mm, segregation. Now, what is the whole deal with the whole situation of the segregation of the races? And oh, all that? you're talking about Jim Crow era. Mm -mm. Oh, no. You said segregation of the races. Oh, I did. I meant to say genders. Ah, okay. Oopsie. Yeah, that's a big whoopsie, but uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's stuff for that, you know, uh, it's like that Joe Jackson all, song always says uh, that it's in to do with the Joe Jackson <laughs> hook and the chorus and yeah. the situation with that song totally. where he says, it's different for girls. Okay. Sometimes it's different for girls. Yeah. Ball State's a university in Indiana, which I bet it? just sucks dick to go to. I thought it was in Pennsylvania. They wanted me to play golf there. Who did? Ball State. Ball State wanted you to come play golf <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, Ball State and uh, what's the other one up in Michigan? Oh, I can't think of it now. They have a great golf program, and my cousin Dave went there. It was like one of the only schools that was like, you should come play golf. Why didn't you go play golf? And Why did you go to like the most expensive school in Ohio? I didn't want to be a college athlete. You know how like lame that would have been? It sounds like something exactly like what you would want to do. I know now. But at the time, I was focused on drinking an acid and getting late because I was a virgin going into college. I didn't want to commit to practice. <laughs> that would have been great in retrospect. No, yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm glad you didn't because you ended yeah. up here and God bless the broken road that led yeah. me straight to you. But I would have been a cocksucker if I was a collegiate golfer. Imagine me in pants literally just like this and like 
golfing all the time. <laughs> so like, that's I can I imagine it pretty clearly. Yeah, that's like, exactly, that's what you do in the yeah. summer. Yeah, that's you in the summer is these pants and golfing a lot. I would be living though in like Florida. Yeah, probably. I'd be in Palm Beach, Palm Beach, voting for Vrump. <laughs> Wearing flown. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing if I was a collegiate golfer at Ball State. No, Florida's so far away. If you were living there, you couldn't do the show. <laughs> tetherball for sure, man. I'm gonna go Ball State. That's a whole university. They probably got a tetherball there. I was probably drinking and shit there too. Grant, I'll take tetherball. Yeah, tetherball is awesome in the pulling dynamite. dynamite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Second side, baseball versus cannonball. God, a baseball is cool. The way it's sewn together. And I, I love the mud. When they mud up the pro balls with that specific mud from, like, Mississippi. Oh, see, I don't know anything about that. I only know about that natural mud. Every MLB ball gets mudded up with a specific river mud from the Mississippi. How'd they figure that out? Oh, tradition, I guess. There is something so nostalgic about a baseball. And also, it's sewn. Like, yeah. what, are we, like what are we talking about? That's like a crazy <laughs> engineering of, like, this thing of, like, this is the thing you hit with the stick. Yeah. And the best way to do it is to sew it up in this pattern. Yeah. Like, the laces, the way it feels on your mm -hmm. hand, it is magical. And, like, with the way it's sewn... That's how you throw and manipulate the spin different, like a two seamer, a four seamer, a slider, a slider, all those pitches. knuckleball. Yeah, of, of Zubu, mm -hmm. the El Drapo. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there's uh -huh. a lot of crazy stuff you could do with it. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. And Cannonball is great, but it's uh, amateur. Hey, rather splash than get splashed. I guess, yeah. I'd say that. But I'd rather make a splash than mm -hmm. get splashed on. <laughs> we weren't allowed to have baseballs at school because I kept hitting the girls in the head with them. Yeah, yeah. But... That's what I, yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. It is a based ball. <laughs> what the It's heck? like based. <laughs> I feel like the most based ball so far was the butterball turkey. You based it. Ah! You based a turkey. But it's not really a ball. That felt like a cheat. It felt like a cheat? Yeah. Huh. Give me baseball 100 times over. Yep, baseball. Playing catch with your boy? Playing catch with your pops? My dad threw me a Zin can when I was at home, and he, like, threw yeah, Like, I left, and I was walking across the street, and he was like, hey! And he came out, and I, like, left it on the couch, and he threw it to me from the porch, and I, like, snagged it, and I had, like, a brief flashback of, like, me and this guy got chemistry. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, he, yeah. did, he did it from a distance, and he's old, and he was like... And, like, spun the can, and I was like... One hand, it snagged it like with ease, and I was like, "Oh yeah, me I, like if this if, we've when spent it, time together. When it yeah. comes time to catch. Yeah, this guy used to throw me hot routes. Like we'd be at the line, and he'd be like, post, post, down. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, that's that's cool. I forgot about that. Me and my dad used to play catch all the time. Oh, halftime of the Browns game. Yeah, go but, out. but we were playing. It was always baseball. Oh really? With, yeah, me and him was always baseball. A lot of football. Yeah, my dad wasn't a football guy. My dad loved throwing the skin around. We were just playing catch with mitts every time, and I always used to be so confused by my dad's arm getting tired, and now I totally get <laughs> yeah. it. Like, if you throw a baseball for a long time, your shoulder's going to hurt. Yeah. And, like, I had an unbelievable motor as oh, a young yeah. boy. I mean, you could just run around forever, and I would constantly be like, Dad, throw it to me, and I want it to be almost impossible to catch and i would lay out oh yeah every nonstop. time i'd be like throw me one that's like you don't think i can get <laughs> and i'm just running and diving yeah like great time playing catches pops now we got meatball versus golf ball i hate meatballs don't i know you're gonna have a fight here especially swedish meatballs which you love yeah meatballs are fucked they're fucking disgusting <laughs> um i guess a homemade one every now and again is all right but there's something fucked up about them uh, again this golf balls without a shirt on it looks a little weird you'd never see one like that i love a golf ball uh, we found one in the park the other day and i bounced it off concrete even that's fun when you find a golf ball in the wild it's so bouncy uh, or if you drive and it hits the cart path it goes -doink! <laughs> yeah it does bounce really high i'm always a little confused by that based on its texture dude it can fly 300 plus yards off the face of like a, an aluminum stick it's yeah. so bizarre yeah it is weird i had a bucket of old golf balls of my dad's that me and my cousin would just hit into the woods yeah. with a metal baseball bat and you hear them hit the trees and shit metal Bing. baseball bat yeah, go for blasting miles. them and at one point we were pissed off because the woods behind my house growing up used to go for as far as i could really see and then it was a field mm -hmm. and they started putting establishments and businesses on the other side of the woods and it was like now it's a paintball place before that it was a place called funnigans that yeah, had I remember like funnigans. it had like blow up toys and shit yeah. not the kind you're thinking of
And then before that, it was some, it was like a swim club or some sure. shit, whatever. We used to like, we started, we started hitting it to a place where it might have hit a kid or two. Good. You know? Yeah, good. And we were mad about that. We used to tee it up in my buddy Brett's backyard, and he had like a big backyard, but it would back up, it backed into like the turnpike. Mm -hmm. So these are people that don't live nearby. Right. They're driving far, far, far. <laughs> and we'd tee them up and we'd drive it into the turnpike. And we hit a couple trucks. Yeah, that's super dangerous. Right, yeah, totally. You could kill someone. Yeah, absolutely. If they're going 90 miles an hour and you got it right, the perfect timing at the windshield, a death. Yeah. Yeah, we were attempting murder in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. so to speak. But yeah, I'm going golf ball. I'd rather eat a golf ball than eat a meatball, honestly. That's insane. I'm yeah. going to go with meatball, obviously. Grant? Meatball! Yeah, you little sick fuckers. Meatballs are great. Meatballs are great. Now we got Lonzo Ball versus Eight Ball of Cocaine. Oh, nice. It did show up. Yeah. This looks so funny. This is like... <laughs> Like Lonzo Ball caught in nightclub, and <laughs> it's like this photo. Great that Lonzo's uh, healthy this year. Uh huh. Uh, the league's better when him and Lamelo are rocking out. Um, they have a great play style. It's a fun. It's a it's a very fun electric showy in a way. Yeah, it's a showboat play style that Athletic, I like to watch. Yeah, unconventional. Mm -hmm. But man, tooting that good stuff with your homies. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing like it. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's done a lot of damage to society, absolutely. Oh, totally. It's unforgivable what it's done to society, but what people often forget about mm. is the good it's done. Right. The albums it's inspired, the friendships it's forged. The nights it's created. The commerce it's uh, reinforced. Right, you know? that, that part I'm not, because that's part of the death and stuff too. People who like sell it and, uh, you know, all that oh, stuff. Oh, no, I'm saying like people do it and then they go buy a badass outfit. Totally. Okay. Yeah. 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 Or well, they come up with it. a new business idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Or they buy a rack of ribs and they don't eat it. Right. Because obviously. Yeah. I mean, what? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Food looks like gray and blurry when yeah. you're on cocaine. But yep. uh, yeah, I got, we go eight ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring the price down a little, though, if you're out there. What, the president of cocaine? No, the guy that, you know, that guy. Right. Bring it down or, just a little bit. Or a woman. No, I'm like, uh, he's a guy. Who? The, the guy I buy it from. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we got Cotton Ball versus Ball Sack. Oh, Ball Sack finally shows up. Just like I told Kronk. He asked me, we can't put a picture of a Ball Sack on there, right? right. And I was like, the do a scientific drawing. Yeah. He's like, exactly. Yeah, I hate rubbing the feeling of rubbing cotton balls together. Oh, yeah. There's something like staticky and yeah. odd. I, I hate the feeling on my skin. And it's I always awful. picture my mom dumping the dog juice on there and cleaning out dog ears with them yep. in the shop. And it is just... <laughs> Yeah, I don't like cotton balls at all. No. Ball sack, uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, I love holding it. Right. Yeah, my own. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, no shade to anybody who likes holding other people's ball sacks. Oh, yeah, whatever. Of course. Do whatever you want. Yeah. I'm just saying, for me personally, I like holding mine. Uh, mine got all fucked up in high school. I uh, thought I had the, the old testicular cancer at one point. Got an ultrasound on those puppies, and it uh, turned out it was something else. Yep, I'm going with ball sack. You don't want to hear the no, rest of that no, story at all. No, I've heard it. Yeah, hot <laughs> jelly on there. <laughs> and yes, yes, a resounding yes, it felt awesome. Feels as good as you think it would. Hot <laughs> jelly all over those puppies. <laughs> Try it out if you can. Even if you have to fake an illness to get in there. Okay. Say something about my balls feels weird. I kind of want someone to take a look down there. They'll rub a little weird machine gun yep. thing. <sighs> machine uh yeah. Uh, medical device down there with hot jelly all over your balls and you gotta flip your dick up and put a towel over it. Feels amazing. <laughs> I wish I had an at-home situation like that. Gumball versus volleyball. Oh, I love a volleyball. Yeah, me too. The pattern. <laughs> I get it stitched together. You can palm it a little easier. Yep. It's the first thing I dunked. Yeah. You know, when you're... <laughs> You dunk a little volleyball. Mm -hmm. I love bopping it around with your gang. Gumball's great. It's good for that one second that you break the shell. Yeah, and the colors. Right. I love the big primary colors. But I don't like sweet gum anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like now. Whatever. Yeah, I'll take like a Unless minty. it's got molly in it. Right. But like wintergreen or like one of those, yeah. that's like what I chew and it's sure. usually a stick. They don't do gumballs for yeah. that. Volleyball all day. Yeah. And I love the outfits. Bump, set, spike. Cue ball versus medicine ball. Oh, I kind of hate a medicine ball. I think it looks awesome. 
Yeah, it looks r- rootsy. It's like a, it's like a fat <laughs> football. <laughs> it you know? looks rootsy. Look kind of like the helmets they would wear in football in like the twenties. Yeah, mixed with an actual football, and I love the texture of it. We used to have to do a basketball drill where we'd take like a five pounder and we'd sit on the sidelines and like practice our form with them. Yep, and then we'd shoot threes and we could just fuck it. It was way easier because right. your arms like warmed up. Cue ball is great though because it's about two millimeters larger than the other ball. Mm. And if you ever watched a thousand ways to die. And some guy choked on one. Choked on one? Yeah, because he had like a party trick where he'd put the eight ball and he could like swallow it halfway and like show everyone his mouth and then he'd pop it back up. And he was drunk and then he did it with the cue ball once and it's like two millimeters bigger all the way around. And it got stuck and he died. Oh, Pretty awesome. That I hate thinking about. I oh, remember man. that one. And I remember the guy who fucked like an electric turkey and that one killed him. He like plugged a turkey in. <laughs> To like warm it or juice it up or something, and he was having sex with it, and then it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's such an embarrassing way to die. <laughs> yeah, if you like came up with a turkey contraption to like fuck your cock, and you died while it was in there. Imagine his poor mother. Like, oh, like oh, Nancy, I heard your son passed away. How did that happen? God, he <laughs> he put his dick in an electric turkey. <laughs> I'm imagining for some reason I pictured like a general going to her house as if he had died in war, and he's like. <laughs> Miss, <laughs> the U.S. government is sorry to report that your son died fucking his cock in a turkey contraption that he rigged with a car battery. <laughs> She's like, no, you coward. Why weren't you over there? Yeah. Shocked his willy straight to the grave. Yeah. Uh, give me the cue ball. I'm going to go with medicine ball. The cue ball is the most boring ball on the board. What about calling a bald guy a cue ball? I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I guess. A hey, cue ball. I'm sticking to my guns here. All medicine right. ball. I'll take the medicine ball. All right. All right. That's well played, Grant. Eight ball versus eight ball. <laughs> the final. Ball pit versus hacky sack. Hate a ball pit. Love a ball pit. Germ. Germ city. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. But if you had one in your house that only you could go in, then obviously it'd be amazing. I'd have to have some sort of like, I could like open up the bottom and it could go into some sort of big like lottery machine thing where it could be sanitized. There's just something so sketchy about a ball pit to me yeah i do love the jackass thing where they put the snakes in the ball pit Mm -hmm. that's a classic bit right and i love a hacky sack yeah hacky sack is it's cool the culture around it kind of it depends on the time yeah if ska music is popular yeah then i like a hacky sack (laughs) because that circle seems a little more juiced Mm -hmm. up if not it's kind of like some hippies and i recently have discovered my hate for hippies as i get older i think it's just something about it good a job and i watched once upon a time in hollywood recently great movie really makes me hate hate hippies Um, shout out quali margaret quali yeah Yeah. Yeah. antonoff's girl they're married Rumor is, rumor has it. <laughs> okay. Rumor says that the situation with Antonov and Quali and the having to do with Quali yeah. and, and Antonov <laughs> seems to be marriage. Mm. That's the rumor there. Give me a hacky sack. Uh, give me ball pit. There's something so fun about whoever came up with the first idea for that. I mean, that's it's awesome. Uh, you know, a kid diving into a bunch of balls. Don't do that. <laughs> Dude, don't no. make me look like a freak. You're just acting like Geppetto today. <laughs> no, don't make me look like a freak for saying that a kid diving into a big pool of balls is funny and awesome. Good for the kid. Grant, what do you think? Ball pit. You can bury yourself in the balls. Mm-hmm. You hide or hide in one of them and pop out. Yeah. All the balls fly everywhere. Yeah, sure. They're the lightest balls, period. I mean, like, yeah. like that. Well, as we'll see on here. I mean, you just. Whoosh, Except for cotton balls. Fuck. Wiffle ball versus laundry ball. I don't get laundry balls. I mean, I get it. Don't explain it to me, but it mm. pisses me off. <laughs> Looks kind of like a durian. Yeah, or like COVID. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does look like COVID. Not um, necessarily the white ones in this picture, but sure. a wiffle ball is awesome. So sick. I love what, how, the spin you can put on it. Yeah. Any kid could throw a curveball with a wiffle ball, <laughs> yeah. which was what a blessing that is. Right. And you could throw it as hard as you want. And you could hit it as hard as you want, and it's going about 50 feet. It's a very satisfying game in that way. Yeah, and, it, like, I love that it's just a safe way to play baseball for kids. Like, yeah. if you get hit with a wiffle ball, yeah. you're fine. A little sting. Yeah, a little sting. Yeah. You're all right. And now we use a wiffle ball to play pickleball. Yeah, which I hate. 
Have you ever played it? No. You'd, you'd really like it. Ah, <laughs> you would. The it's, culture around it, though, is okay. Just, it's Again, with the them. cultural. I'm thing. a culture, cultural cultural yeah. commentator. Qualies love pickleball. Qualies do. Mm-hmm. They play pickleball, huh? Yeah. Bet they do. Margaret Koali, <laughs> and she's like a little bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a koala e. Wiffle me, silly. Yeah, I'll go with wiffle. Although the laundry ball feels like it'd be fun to play with. Yeah, but that's not what it's for. It's it, to uh, you use it. You don't have fun with it. Yeah, you throw it in the washer and say, see you later. Is it the washer or the dryer? The dryer. dryer? It's definitely like a static thing, right? I guess I don't really know much about laundry <laughs> balls now that I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with it, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with wiffle ball. <laughs> Crystal ball versus snowball. Are we serious here? I know you're going to say snowball. Yeah. A snowball fight. I mean, yes, it's amazing. Not even that. Okay. Snowball at a car. That's <laughs> still, I guess, yeah. Let's say December. You and me go to a ball game. We're downtown Detroit. At the end of the game, we've already had our pregame pops. We're feeling loose. As we're walking in, I grab one. I hit you in the back. Dude, come on. That's awesome. That's memory. What is a crystal ball going to do? You're at some, like, Bumble Date's house, and she's, like, a fucking witch (laughs) or something? Yeah. Fuck that. Crystal ball, I don't get exactly what's going on there. Because the other ones I get. Like, if you have a Magic 8 ball, you shake that up. Yeah, and but, it tells you something. Like yeah. you ask it a question, and it tells you something. Tarot cards—they got all sorts of omens and mm-hmm. random drawings of like a knight, and that means you're gonna get broken up with or some shit. It's fine. The other ones, the stars. That's yeah. cool, I guess. It's like uh, when you were born and the water and the tides. I get how you could believe all that. Crystal ball. What are you doing with it exactly? Because it's it does someone smoke, who has powers. Does smoke rise within it? <laughs> So I think am I tripping or is like, I think that's in like the cinematic version. Right, exactly. This one right here, like I imagine you could buy that on Etsy. This is like or, you pay a hundred dollars for an hour with an old bitch who's like touching this big thing and is like, you're about to get money. But I think this is a Hogwarts version too. Yeah. This looks like it's some sort of Harry Potter transphobic crystal ball. Yeah, I don't fuck with wizards and the whimsy of a snowball is really timeless. Mm. Because even when you're like old and you take kind of bite the bullet to go down and do it, you you got to do it barehanded because mm-hmm. you got to have the warmth of your hand and stuff to like help melt the ball into that. And then you kind of get that perfect circle and you just beam your buddy in the back. Yeah, that's great. When you hit the windshield of a car and it perfectly. And it makes me think of the movie Elf, too. With Will Ferrell. Yeah, because he, <laughs> for some reason, one of his powers as an elf is that he's really good at making snowballs mm-hmm. and throwing them like five billion miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, good. And then he helps the dude avenge his bullies. And I love that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. And if anybody can give me information about how a crystal ball works or is supposed Ooh, to work careful. or if there's smoke in there, just put that down in the comments. I oh, probably won't read it. But you're going to get a long explanation. From, like, actually, the origins of the crystal ball are deep in the esoteric history of the paganism, ranging back to the 12th century. Like, I already said I wasn't going to read it. Just oh. pop it down there, though. Pop it downstairs for Papa. Yeah, pop it downstairs for me. <laughs> Snowball. And we got goofball versus rugby ball. Love a rugby ball, too. Really, these shapes and the way these things feel, it makes sense that there's professional sports. They're just unique. They feel good. They feel natural. Like, I could toss a rugby ball back and forth with a guy for hours. Yeah, I don't like it. It's too oblong. It's weird. I love snagging it. It's snaggable. Yeah. I, I, if you drop it in the bread box, that's really where you need it. Yeah. And it's never like you're never in an over the shoulder situation with a rugby ball. Yeah, you are. When? I mean, I don't know. I watch rugby a lot. And, and when do they go? When all are they the time. running fades? All the time. <laughs> Can't actually throw it forward at all. You're not allowed to, huh? No. It's all backwards. That's it's f- awesome. I love the rugby ball and I love doing the bop. I love a goofball. Nah, fuck a goofball. Why is this dude playing the bagpipes? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't quite understand the picture, but when I'm thinking of a goofball, like, you know, you or uh, Johnny Knoxville, uh, Chris Rock, uh, Kevin Hart. Um, Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis is a goofball. <sighs> I mean, these zany characters that just fill our, our lives with so much, uh, so much color, so much laughter. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, they're, they're like the modern day philosophers in many ways. They're like our Plato and Aristotle. I don't care about anything uh, that you just said. Uh, give me that rugby. Give. Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> Is that a, a ruby from the Cosby <laughs> show? Is that rugby. You... Do you want to go outside and play a little rugby? <laughs> beep, boop, beep. See, these are the goofballs I'm talking about. Yeah. Cosby and <laughs> yeah. Louis C.K. Yeah. and um, uh, Jared from Subway. 
crazy Ep- goofballs. Epstein, yeah. uh, yep. the Diddy, yeah. <laughs> Puff Daddy. Silly, goofy guys. Just goofballs. Yeah, man. Stalin. Uh-huh. Yeah. Putin. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Pope. Whichever Pope touched the kids and shit. It's by a Pope who did it. Grant, I went with goofball. What's he going with? Rugby. There we go, baby. Green loves his European sports. Mothball versus fireball, the I'd, whiskey. I'd rather eat a mothball than do a shot of fireball. And I know mothballs would kill you. You but like drinking. I love it. And I'll even do fireball on the golf course. But it's a terrible, terrible beverage. Why are you picking a mothball over fire? Like, you don't have to, just because you're, just because you don't like it that much, you said you still drink it. Yeah, but mothballs are awesome. What's the deal with them? You throw Kills, them in like clothes, an old closet. Moths, eggs. And larva, why does it kill eggs? It looks too much like candy. I would, yeah, I'd have to pop one. That's my thing with it. I think it'd have they to have pop They have a one. weird smell. Yeah, I do remember that. They're strange. It's mm. just like a weird utility. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, we got to put some mothballs in there so moths don't hatch in this old box of t-shirts I have. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bizarre. Man, it is weird. <laughs> it's so weird. It, that's what makes it awesome. Yeah, look I'm still, packaging. I'm going to go with Fireball. I mean, look at the packaging on Fireball. It's got a little <laughs> fucking devil on it. It does have a little devil. Yeah, I do like Fireball shooters on the course see what i'm saying it's fine it's like a little cinnamon whiskey that gets everybody fired up and it's so cheap it is cheap because it's not strong that's why i don't like it yeah it's sweet yeah In give me way. fireball whatever all right pinball versus sleaze ball see here i go i'm on the sleaze ball train now <laughs> over a goofball but pinball that nah. i love pinball machines i feel like love and the art it sucks that this is the true thing, but if I ever get like really loaded, I feel like I'm the type of guy who would start collecting pinball machines because they cool. are so cool yeah, looking. That's cool. I it, want slutty vintage ones. My uncle doesn't have kids and he has a basement full of those things. He probably has some kids down there every once in a while. I mean, my cousins and yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> not like that. Nah. No, not like that. These he sells like, beef and he's rich and he writes books about being rich. Looks like these two things are going hand in hand here. He might be a sleazeball, but <laughs> I like him. He's funny. Yeah. He used to give me 50 bucks if I could hit a half court shot. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, I think I do like a pinball over the sleazeball here, but I like the... I like the character of the societal sleazeball. Yeah, I mean, one of my favorite movies, Good Time. Yeah. Robert Pattinson is a full-on sleazeball in that yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. And I like that. It's like it's like a city slicker who's doing something gross. Something like almost sociopathic. And they dress usually pretty, like, awesome. like nice. <laughs> like it's like nice clothes that are dirtied up yeah. in some way. By being so sleazy. Yeah, and like slicked back hair. This is a great picture of a sleazeball. Yeah, this looks like Kronk when he's 40. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. Still yeah. loves video games. Teresa's left him. Uh-huh. And he's just like hanging out with kids. I don't think he could get the hairy chest going though. Uh, you never know what the heartbreak will do to a man. That's true. Uh, give me pinball though for the old slutty ones. Yeah, and what do you mean by that? Like cans and stuff, like the old uh, a Playboy Mansion pinball game. Mm-hmm. Those are what I'm after. Mm. I'm going for like Harold and the Purple Crayon pinball machine stuff yeah. like that. I want like someone like spread eagle and the ball like fires up there, Bing! and it's like bonus. Is there an operation pinball machine? Maybe. I feel like that would be awesome. If you mm-hmm. got that dude down there. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know the patient's What's name. <laughs> What's his name? The guy, guy from Operation. The guy who swallowed name? bones and stuff? Yeah. If you touch me again, I'm going to flip. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Give me the... Oh, it's uh, Mike. No, that's not oh, it. Christ, I don't guy care, from, dude. The guy from Operation. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, he's got a big, he's got a red nose. The one, uh, he swallowed a wrench and some other stuff. He's a bit pudgy. No problem with that, but he's a bit pudgy. What's his name? Brown hair. You know what I'm talking about, from Operation. I want one of those pinball machines. What's his name? You ready? Y'all done? You done with this? Better wrap this up. What's his name? Wrap it up, man. (laughs) God, I can't think of it. Okay, whatever. Insert name here. Blue balls versus soccer ball. Soccer ball. Another beautiful this picture. This, <laughs> the picture of the blue balls here is yeah. Blue balls are a myth. Uh, learned that it's not true. Sometimes but, my balls hurt, but I don't. They don't. I've never seen them turn blue. But yeah, they don't turn blue. Yeah. yeah. Soccer ball is another awesome. This is like a bunch of patches, like a bunch of different things all mm, sewn together. It's yeah. really it's amazing how it's patched together and then inflated. There's something kind of cartoonish about a soccer ball. You know what I mean? It's like a very easy cartoon to draw. What is that? Uh, it's a pentagon. It's a bunch of pentagons. Mm-hmm. Right, shout out the pentagon. <laughs> I remember my friend tried to say he got blue balls after homecoming one year. Uh-huh. And I sent him home. You sent him home? Like, we all came back to my house afterwards, and he was like, dude. 
just grind on me and I got fucking blue balls now. And I was, and we all like, there's a consensus. We were like, yeah, you're done hanging out with us. I don't want to hang out with someone who's like insinuated and they have to go bust a nut. Right. That's true. They yeah. grossed us all out. Uh huh. I was like, yeah, nope. I don't want to be scared every time you leave the room. Yeah. Are you about to go rub one out right. in my dining room? Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Uh -huh. That's fucked up. If he says he has to go to the bathroom, you're, ah, time, you're timing it. Yeah. yeah. Where were you, Jer? Yeah. His name is Jerry. That's fine. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> it's the dude soccer who, ball. The dude, dude. Who swallowed the wrench. It's soccer ball. <laughs> he swallowed a bunch of other stuff too. It's How does it ball. end up in his arm? You know what I mean? I don't get it, but whatever. Now we got ball, like a dance, uh, and corn ball. I'm really glad ball, the dance, is in here. Oh, yeah. If you ever go to an event and it's labeled as a ball, or a gala, a masquerade. Mm -hmm. Come on. Those are some of the best nights of your life. Yeah. I mean, people say have a ball. It yeah. means literally like have a good time. Yeah. A ball is a good time. Finger food. Overly dressed. Old people that are like being really friendly to you. Yeah. Where in real life they wouldn't be. Right. They'd be threatened by your hip youthness. I love an old guy at, uh, at a ball, any kind of dance, yeah. who is a self-aware kind of bad dancer, but there's something charming about yeah. a sweet old man who's like, yeah, he's like... We used to dance like this. Oh, I yeah, I still got moves. Yeah, I still got moves, young young man. The wedding. I was You'll at. end up like me someday. <laughs> oh yes, and and trust me, the ladies used to go crazy for this one. I'm gonna fuck tonight. Yeah, <laughs> just for old times' sake. Yeah. Doesn't really work down there, but I'm still gonna make it work. Check out my moves, young man. Anyway, go ahead. Um, the wedding I was at recently, the wedding band was playing. Uh, like do the twist and stuff like that. And what they do, they'd have like an old timey section. And I was on the dance floor with a bunch of old people and I felt out of place. Right. Cause they all knew how to groove to that. There's like weird moments like that. They're like, and I'm like, <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> I've never done that. I'm out there like. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. And they're like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm like, yeah, it's not working. That's not the twist. So yeah, that's fun moments in life. Uh, balls are great. Corn balls suck. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, I hate when somebody's a corn ball. I do like uh, giving way to the societal pressure to not like cringe. And if that makes me a corn ball, so be it. What did you just fucking say? <laughs> that's a sentence you like said. It I felt think it's earnest. That was weird. It is kind of earnest because I think it's fine to like cringy stuff. And right. some people might call you a corn ball. You know, if you're really into Taylor Swift or something. Uh huh. And you know what? Like like what you like. If you like her, like her. If you like something that everybody else is like, oh, it's too popular to like. It's like mm -hmm. just go forth unabashedly and you know, don't don't give way to the pressures of society to be niche or cool. Be yourself. And if yourself is plain Jane automobile, right down the middle of the road, America, Randy Newman driving a Ford Focus listening to the fucking pop radio on the way to work. Salute to you, brothers and sisters and non-binary folks. Go forth. It's like halftime of your life, and you yeah. get that speech from your coach. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, wow, we got to go out there and, and play the second half a little different than the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy a Ford Focus. Somebody probably is going to come out as gay because you said that. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, shit, wait a minute, I'm gay. Yeah, that's cool. But the way, Because of the way you said that, <laughs> yeah. I realized that I have to be myself, and myself is gay. That's fine. And if you're gay, you probably like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Give me the ball dance. <laughs> yeah. Rubber band ball versus popcorn ball. Wow. This is the hardest matchup yet. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm uh, going to go with rubber band ball. Yeah. I like when it's so tight and people cut into it with the straight razor and it. Oh, see, that's like some stupid TikTok shit that people do. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're, you're calling me cringe now. See what you did? <laughs> I didn't call you cringe. You're, part, said... of one of, you're part of the problem now. That's fine. You're I'll... saying it's wrong that I'm gay. No, Basically. didn't say that. It had nothing to do with that. <laughs> what I love about a rubber band ball is that it remains a ball even if you take rubber bands off of it and yeah. use it to shoot at people yeah. or to like tie up a poster or you put two in your hair for yeah. some reason. It's or like whatever. a ball of bullets. It's an ammo. <laughs> yeah, and it just like it gets to be a smaller and smaller ball over time. It's kind of like a change jar. Yeah. You take a little change out of it, it's still a it's jar change. of change. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you got to go park or something, you'll probably be fine. Rubber bands don't work for that though. There is something gross about a popcorn ball. 
too. Yeah, there's something weird. I I liked it as a kid, and I'd be like, wow, this is crazy, but it feels indulgent. It's like popcorn is meant to be little pieces. Poppable and yeah. soft and white and not, like, sticky. Popcorn ball, it hurts my teeth looking at it. Uh, right, yeah. Because yeah. it, uh, it's already, like, popcorn by itself will get stuck in your teeth mm -hmm. and fuck up your whole day. If you add stickiness to that, right. it is, like, the worst thing you could possibly eat for your yeah. teeth. So, yeah. yeah. No, thanks. Rubber band ball. Last one in the first round, we got softball versus dodgeball the movie. I know we gave all the praise to baseball and how it's woven and how it's great. I mean, this is a stupid version of it. <laughs> it's an abomination. <laughs> it's bigger and it's usually neon like this. Yeah. All love to the ladies and to the sport. Especially the chuckability of those pitchers. They can really gas those things. And with the underhand variety, you can have a riser. Yeah. Which is a pretty awesome pitch. Right. But you only Don't get call to them that. Then bitches can pitch it. Um, pitch mm. it, bitches. <laughs> pitch it, bitches. <laughs> but you only get to see it for about three feet because that's about how close the pitcher is to the batter. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And then it's there. And yeah. then first base is here. And it, I don't know. Yeah, this year they had the first pitch that never left the pitcher's hand <laughs> <laughs> and into the catcher. catcher. Yeah. It's like Victor Wembanyama <laughs> of softball. She can just reach. <laughs> <laughs> Strike. Yeah. Uh, Dodgeball, Dodgeball, the movie. I mean, classic masterpiece. Awesome. One of the greatest sports movies of all time. We should do it for how did it age because i'm not sure how it aged the pizza in the pants and what have you seen justin long in the pumping up the balls yeah pumping up the and the vince vaughn and, and the, yeah, yeah the vince vince vaughn ben stiller justin long ee, and uh, some other people are in that oh, movie yeah, class. and uh patches of hula hand and, and the, if you could dodge a wrench you could dodge a ball yeah. all of these things and the, the situation heavy. and the what have you with yeah. the movie of the Excellent. dodge of dodging balls is uh quite Right, and the snaking, yeah. and mm -hmm. yeah, the snakes. And the Globo Gym. Glo yeah, and Average Joe's. Yeah. Uh, it's Give me that. Yeah, we'll do that one. Second round. Basketball versus bowling ball. I go basketball. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's better in your hands. Yeah. The bowling ball, you get rid of too quick. You don't spend as much time with it. Basketball, you can have that <laughs> sucker on a string. Yeah, but the thing is... And I know I'm contradicting myself here, but you put your fingers inside of the bowling ball. That's it. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can do the John Tudoro thing in like uh, with the with the sack, right? Then you can right. That's and cool. a custom bowling ball, a custom bowling ball, and a custom basketball are both awesome. Here's my ultimate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I wish I had a strong enough finger to do that with a bowling ball. I mean, that would be awesome. I'd like to have a bowling ball that is a basketball, but it looks like a bowling ball, and I could pull that prank. I, like, act like it's real heavy, and then I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be cool, but we got to go basketball. Beach ball? Beach ball versus bouncy ball. Bouncy ball? Easy bouncy ball. Yeah, bouncy ball is yeah. more fun. Beach ball is a cheap novelty. We sold them. <laughs> that, that, go buy one on Cope's website. We got a lot of them left. Yeah. <laughs> they're big, though. Yeah, they're That's awesome. That's the one thing that is cool about Bigger them. They're in a house. Yeah, a lot of them are bigger than a house. Yeah. It depends on which one you get. Depends but on what kind of house yeah, you live in. <laughs> yeah. You live in a tiny house. Uh, <laughs> go buy one, though. They are yeah. they're very cheap. So. Yeah, super cheap. Uh huh. Very, but very cheap. Yeah, we go bouncy ball. Absolutely. Bouncy ball with a screaming face on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Power ball versus cricket ball. A power ball, I think. I, I got to lean gambling over something I don't. I'm sorry, uh, Pakistani <laughs> people. Um, I just haven't spent a lot of. I played cricket twice. With the Pakistani kids I went to college with. It was fun. They liked my uh, kind of American baseball swing at it. Mm -hmm. They appreciated that. Right, because um, they do a kind of a lower. Yeah, it's, it's like a like, mix between like golf and baseball. It's kind of tactical. Yeah, they're like placing <laughs> the ball. I was just like hitting it as hard as I could, and they were like, hey, "Good, good swing." Yeah, I'm not gonna do a Pakistani voice. I'm gonna go with cricket ball because I realize I hate gambling and it ruins too many families. <laughs> Grant, what do you think? Powerball. Nice, boy. Eight ball pool versus oddball. Eight ball pool. Yeah. It's also the name of the mini clip game. Eight ball pool. Oh, yeah. The game pigeon yeah. situation. Yeah. And all of that. And having to do with it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I do love that. And it's just such a cool design. that the It's a black eight ball, and that's the one that you have to hit in last, and you have yeah. to call your pocket. There's something super mystical about it. You could have, like, mud flaps on your truck that are eight balls, and people <laughs> would be like, I get it. This guy's a badass. It's literally just a anything that's black with a white circle with an eight in it is an eight ball reference and a reference to the billiards game we all know and love. <laughs> and there's something but bad luck about it. Says who? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's something to do with that. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I think so. It's like a black cat or walking under <laughs> ladders or throwing salt over <laughs> if your an shoulder. Eight ball from pool rolls in front of you on the sidewalk. You are in trouble. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Probably means a crazy billiards man is in a bush nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Disco ball versus football. Sorry, football. Yeah, I mean, football, the sport. Right. 
for sure way better than disco yeah. ball the sport, which yeah. I'm not even sure that they have one of those. Right, but, but big lapels, hair, dancing, and it's like retro. So when one's really going off in a place now, people are like, it takes you to a different time that no one in that place existed in. It's a, a mirror that puts little circles all over the room. It's beautiful. How does it even... It's like a crystal. Whoever figured it out. Genius. Is absolutely a genius. Yeah. And I love it. Me too. And it's a heavy favorite going into round three. Low ball versus eyeball. I'm, I could play along with the joke. Uh-huh. I love low ball and people. I'm the scammer. Give me that stuff. But like, <laughs> what's this? That sucks. Right. And shout out my visually impaired people. But like, come on. The Grand Canyon feasting in your eyes on like <laughs> the natural beauties of the world. Big Bahamba Jumpas. Yeah. You can't see cans without eyes, you know? <laughs> and the beauty of boobs is in the eyes of the beholder. The, 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 the man, woman, or non-binary person or who cock. takes a gaze upon the, the huge Bahunga Chungas that lie before them. Yeah. They are, that, those are lucky eyeballs right there. And I love them. Yeah, I love them too. <laughs> I love them. I absolutely love them. And also, I like that in a situation where there's a low ball and an eyeball, sometimes when your dealer's eyeballing, they low ball you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I eyeballed it. Huh? Get your scale, asshole. Yeah, I need it. to know that I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah. You know, I don't trust his cut. And people who can bulge their eyes out are cool, too. Daniel Jones. Nope. Pokeball versus tennis ball. Gotta go with reality here. I mean, there are Pokeballs in real life, and a kid did die uh, yeah. with the McDonald's toy one, sucked it up to his face, and <laughs> yeah. lost his breath. And then they stopped Take selling those. Away. Pen. Fresh can. Mm. It's air compressed. You let it out. The smell. Yeah. The fuzz. Yeah, I'll go with tennis ball, but it's a close one for me because a pokeball is just, I mean, come on. I mean, it is magical in its own world, mm -hmm. but like anytime I've seen it in this world, it's just like a hard piece of dumb plastic. I'd like a Bluetooth speaker that looks like it. It's your bad romance. <laughs> nice, man. Spooky karaoke on Thursday. You want to do it? Nope. Dodgeball versus tetherball. Dodgeball. Tetherball's stuck to a string. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> the dodgeball makes the sound. Tetherball's great, but it's mm -hmm. like a weird ball. It feels like kind of a retired ball that they tied to a pole and a string. Yeah, it, it could have been something else before. <laughs> yeah. A medicine ball yeah. or, you know, one something of that ran out cricket of life. ball. Yeah. And you just kind of tie it up there and let kids hit it around. Yeah. It's very limited in its motion. <laughs> it's kind of a bad sport. It's like fun. But like once someone gets it going, it's over. Right. Once you get the speed ahead of someone's head. The speed and leverage are a big yeah. part of it, you know? <laughs> Playing a short person, it feels rude. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, dodgeball, it can go anywhere. Yeah. In your ass. Baseball versus meatball. I know, it's baseball. But a meatball is just, I mean, I didn't know how much bread went into those things. No, it's too much. It's a, yeah, it's too much bread for sure, but it's, uh, wow, what a taste. What a texture. <laughs> the texture is what fucks me up. I love the texture I of a meatball. It's like a burger ball. Yeah, it's a, bur it's a burger <laughs> it's ball. It's a bread burger ball. Yeah, it's, a, it's beef. It's God. a beef ball. I like a lamb ball. Right, that's still a meatball. Mm. Lamb's meat. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Got you there. You did. Absolutely. Fish yeah. ball. That's the. I'd love close. to throw a two seam with a meatball right at your forehead. A meatball is a type of, like, it's like a fucked up pitch, too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh, he threw a meatball. Yeah. It's like right down the middle and, mm -hmm. like, not. Threw him a meatball. Yeah, threw him a meatball and then he <laughs> slams it out of the park. But yeah, uh, I like that there were seamstresses involved and still to this yes. day are in making a ball for a sport. I really like the stand that holds, like, a commemorative baseball, mm -hmm. that, like, three prong metal thing, like this. And it just sits perfectly in it. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I love the other one that's like almost like what holds a globe. Yeah. Like the bottom of a globe and it has it in there. Cause yeah. I have a Hank Aaron signed ball still to this day that's in one of those. Yeah. And that is expensive yeah. and awesome. I didn't have to say that. It's awesome. But it's also expensive. <laughs> right. But that was already implied. If I ever get low on cash and my father, you know, gives me the grace to possibly sell that ball. I thought you said you have it. Yeah, but he gave it to me, like, when I was a so kid. it's not yours. No, it's mine. He oh. gifted it to me. And you're scared? I would feel bad <laughs> if I sold it. Coward! Without asking my father. Coward pussy. What the heck, man? <laughs> I feel like that's a nice thing to do. I'd say, yeah. I'd say, father, yeah, I, would put, like, put, I would like to sell the Hank Aaron baseball as if I've fallen on hard times. Would you understand? And he'd say, get out of here, boy! 
I mean, slap me, yeah. Probably. Baseball. Baseball. Cocaine versus a ball sack. Cocaine. Eh, actually, no, ball sack. My ball sack. Fuck, this one's hard. This one is tough. Because if you do an eight ball, your ball sack is rendered useless. Right, if they you almost, do a whole eight ball by yourself, for sure. <laughs> your yeah. cock and balls almost recede in your body like a tortoise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you can still use them because you have to pee and stuff like that. Good luck. You can pee on coke. Depends on where you're doing it. What do you mean? I mean, if you're doing coke up your urethra all night, you can't pee out of it. Why are you doing that? Sometimes. Why? Put it on a Q-tip. There's no reason for that. <laughs> You've got a nose. you got a mouth. you got eyeballs. Oh, a little, oh, a little <laughs> numbing action on your eyes. Uh, Hi! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with ball sack. Me too. Yeah. I like that your balls, in order to do the sperm thing, they can't be in your body because your body's too warm. Therefore, we evolved to have the external sac mm. because they could keep them at a cooler temperature yeah. in order for the sperm to survive. Which, I mean, seems crazy because it's it feels like they're always hot. They're sweating. Too. Yeah, it's like that's the first place you sweat on your body is your balls and armpits. Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Probably tied. Tied for fastest sweat. If there's yeah. a fastest sweat competition on my body, I'd say armpits and balls would be tied. Yeah, I'd say my lower back, too. Lower back? Yeah, my lower back sweats. All right. Ball sack for the dub. Volleyball versus medicine ball. Volleyball. It's more functional as a play thing. Medicine ball is kind of fun. It's heavy. Chuck it around. Throw it at a girl's head. Right. Volleyball, though, come on. Yeah, I think volleyball, for sure. I love punching a volleyball. Oh, it's so fun. Like, if it's up in the air, if I'm playing with a bunch of jokesters who aren't serious about it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes above me, I go... Boom! Yeah. <laughs> and then it goes super high up in the air. It's Beach variety. And right. doing the laying out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like to lay out and watch the volleyball players. Hey, Chase Budinger. <laughs> Is that the name of a volleyball player? He's the ex-NBA player who became a Olympic beach volleyball yeah, player. Yeah, he was in the duos. Yeah. Yeah, they did a duet. A volleyball a duet. little cutie. Mm-hmm. Volleyball wins. Now we got ball pit versus wiffle ball. I'll take ball pit here. Oh. Wiffle ball's fun, but it's like stale, hard plastic. That's true. I do love diving in. There's something about diving into a, a, a whole thing of balls. There's a party about it. Yeah. So you're at a weird place. And the feeling of it, despite the germs, <laughs> is yeah. like there's something very interesting. It's like a shiny, yeah. weird little cheap ball, and there's just a thousand of them, mm-hmm. and you're just diving in. It's amazing that you can be safe. You're protected by balls in that scenario <laughs> yeah. from hitting the ground. So many little things. Yeah. yeah. It's enough buoyancy there to keep yeah. you afloat, and I think that's pretty amazing. It is kind of fun. Whoever figured that out first, by the way, there's no way that the first person who ever do- dove in to a pool of balls, a ball pit, didn't think, I'm fucked here. Yeah. I'm hitting the ground. Ouch. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Let's invite some kids over. Right. <laughs> the kids are going to love this one. Snowball versus rugby ball. Snowball. Yeah. Let's not even talk about it. Big rugby guys are awesome, though. Fireball versus pinball. Pinball. The pinball itself, if we're going just on the ball, I don't much care for because whatever the whatever. It's just hard metallic though. It's kind of a cool like machined metal. Mm-hmm. It's shiny. Again, you don't you can't drink Fireball. I could back in the day, and it's not just about me. This is about the world, and a lot of people like that stuff. stuff. Yeah, but what about your uncle? He's got the pinball machines, and that's what I was gonna say. Is I love the machines. What's the machine? The machine is rendered useless without the ball. Uh, it's a good piece of art to have. I'm going to go with pinball. I was just trying to make it interesting, I guess. I guess you nice tried. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want fireball to be here. I would have picked a mothball over it, but you convinced me last round, and now I'm out of convincibility. <laughs> All right, soccer ball versus a dance ball. I mean, yeah. Let's have a party. Right. Instead of, like, a stupid sport where you can't even use your hands. Right. It's ridiculous. It is again. the beautiful game. I'll, I'll give it that. But throw it. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> yeah. It's a very spinnable ball, too. Come yeah. on now. Bring. Somebody spin it. I mean, yeah. ridiculous. They do you spin know? it with their feet and in the air and stuff. And it's really great. And it is the beautiful game, as I said mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah, I love um, a rainbow, you know. Yeah. Sure. We all love a rainbow. I, I love a free kick. Totally. It goes in top side. Yeah. <laughs> top side turvy. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Bicycle <laughs> kick. Yeah, I love a bike kick. But I'm not going to meet the love of my life at a soccer game, and I could meet the love of my life at a ball. That's a great point, man. And mm-hmm. I like that you're still optimistic about meeting the love of your life despite your old age. Governor's Ball is a festival in New York City. I'd love to go. Uh, never. Right, yeah, I don't no. think I'm going to go. No, no, I don't care. Strokes, though. Probably played it sure. at some point. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
Ball bracket. Rubber band ball versus dodgeball the movie. Gotta go with the film here. Toss me rubber band ball. It's about four to 18 seconds of fun. That's true, yeah. If you turned on dodgeball and I'm leaving, I'm like, all right. And you're like, all right, I'm just gonna go to bed and watch a movie. And I hear the first scene. Mm -hmm. I hear the weights and average Joe's and I hear Vince Vaughn's voice. I'm like, ah, care if I watch maybe half of it. And then you stay for the whole thing. And then I stay for the whole thing. Yeah. And we fall asleep next to each other. Well, you uh, obviously are using pathos there, <laughs> trying to appeal to my emotions and make me pick the movie. And it worked. I imagined us snuggled up together watching Ben Stiller, and that immediately made me pick it. And I, uh, it says more about me than it says about you, but For sure. you're a manipulator. Yes. Balls bracket. Balls bracket. Sweet 16, boy. Show me that. Balls. 16 balls. Only bun ball wins. There we go. Basketball, bouncy ball. Basketball. Basketball is a bouncy ball. Yeah, it's, it's a, a big, big ba leather. it's a big orange bouncy ball. And again, the science to it, like how you shoot it, uh -huh. where you put your hands, the skip pass. The... Yeah. I remember the first time that my dad taught me how to shoot it, like where to put the hands, yeah. and like that this was the guiding yeah. hand and this was the follow through hand. And I haven't missed a shot since. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. So yeah. that really. It's magic. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that you can be like getting pushed in the back, falling away, baskets behind you, and you can go and spin it a certain yeah. way, and it's going to go in. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Watching LeBron slam him. What is that? Slam one. Watching LeBron slam one. These suckers <laughs> through the hoop. Mm -hmm. Watching Steph drain one from deep. Yeah. You know. It'll shit. do something to a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watching Kyrie hit that spin off the side glass and it... <laughs> Into the hoop. It's much like sexual gratification, the way that yes. you feel when you watch that stuff. It's much like getting turned on or uh, getting a boner. Or getting sucked up. Or getting all wet if you got one of those. Hot jelly stuff. Yeah. And you got one of those down there. Then that's, it's much like that when you we watch LeBron make a great move yeah. and hit a shot. It truly is. But it's great spectator sport. Uh, absolutely. I was going to say the same thing. It's a fantastic spectator sport. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it's much like getting all horny. Yeah. I I agree. When you see it. Thank you. Powerball or eight ball, the pool one. Eight ball pool. Yeah. Easy. It's, it has, this is the most stylish ball left. Yeah. Like it has an aesthetic. <laughs> right. Which is sick. It's goth. Yeah, it's kind of goth, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of like, when I see like an eight ball shirt, I'm picturing a guy with like, like big metal earrings and like gelled hair. Uh huh. And he's like a little older, but he's into like comic books and tapes. Yeah, he's a nerd punk. Yeah. <laughs> punk yeah. nerd. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a cool aesthetic about it. I like that. Yeah. yeah. He's got like old jeans. And they're like a baggy. Yeah. They're like like 90s bag to him, but he likes a game, mm -hmm. but it'll like tell you something weird. About like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. <laughs> that and he might like have some books on the Persian War or something. Right. So he likes history a little bit too. And he's not into like new things. He yeah. objects modern mar modernity. And he doesn't have <laughs> braces, but he has the vibe of someone with braces. Exactly. He almost spits on you when he talks. Yeah. Yep. All right. Nailed that. Disco ball versus eyeball. Sucks. You can't really feast your eyes on a disco ball without having eyeballs. But again, this is not keep one, leave one. Right. And while staring into the eyes of someone you love or hate is mystifying in a kind of uh, an existential way, going to a fucking little bar with a disco ball where that shit's cracking and there's like some music on. You remember apartment disco? Mm -hmm. Great spot till it burned to the ground. Uh, I am on the other side of this one. I'm easily going to go with eyeball. It's the most dynamic thing ever. Yeah. Like that I know of. You convinced me. Yep. Yeah. yeah easily, easily convinced me. Yeah. I mean, a disco ball can also be corny. You ever been to like a rock concert that has a disco ball yeah, there? You're, right, you're kind of yeah. like, what the fuck? It's out of place. Yeah. Or if someone's room, if someone has a disco ball in their room, they're like a freak. Yeah. Or in their, I like it in a car. A little one. See, those ones don't. That doesn't do much for me anymore. I, I have feel a like full size one in my kitchen. No one even really notices it. Yeah, I haven't noticed it. <laughs> it's right above the lights the, are never off in there. It's right above the microwave. <laughs> yeah, never. Hmm. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tennis ball or dodgeball? Tennis ball. Dodgeball is yeah. something nasty about it. Tennis ball. Second most dynamic thing I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> it's fuzzy and bouncy. It becomes yeah. a dog toy. Baseball or ball sack? Man. Getting smacked in the ball sack with a hard baseball. That'll ruin you. I saw an ump <laughs> last night in the World Series take a ricochet straight to the face. Yeah. He handled it like a champ. He went. <laughs> and he walked away. And then he said, he called like the strike after and he like went right back to it. So he shook it off, but he was like, 
grimacing. <laughs> I respect cool. umpires in baseball more than I respect the police by a lot. Oh, absolutely. It is something about yeah. those guys, the demeanor that they have. Oh, they but are, I'm like, that's a hero. They're an officer <laughs> of law on yeah. the field. There's absolutely no other sport where I respect yeah. the people like calling the game like that. No, they wear like a little polo and khakis over like a full body armor suit. Yeah, they're like in a bulletproof vest. Like, Why does the guy down the third baseline or the first baseline get to call if the swing is safe or not? They got a better angle on the swing. It's so far. They, they have like perfect eyes. That's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I always just think that's funny. Like he'll point to the other guy and he'll be like, I like that <laughs> two other umps have opportunities to call strikes or balls you and know I, mean? I like when they get hyped yeah like i like the it's not like sometimes it's just like strike yeah ball you know oh! but yeah they just go they get up yeah. and they're like doing it doesn't not even doesn't matter which team they're yeah. not rooting for a team no. they're up there like this is a moment i mean the call a little show about yeah it's sick it's awesome um i'll go with baseball here yeah ball sacks are gross yeah except mine which is smooth volleyball or ball pit volleyball it's a sport. If there's a ball pit full of volleyballs, that'd be awesome. It would be awesome, but it would all, it'd probably hurt. You might hit your one in the back or like sprain a leg. They're a little too big and inflated. You might like. Ugh, ugh. I guess I could see that. It'd be fun to surf over them. Yeah, I feel like you you just land like on the top layer of them and just go like yeah, that. Yeah, kind of hurt. Yeah, you seize up or something like or that. Or if one hit you in the ball sack or something like that. Uh, yep. Snowball or pinball. Here, I feel like we have to just think about the pinball. See, and that's unfair. And that's unfair because you didn't do that before. <laughs> you're right. You convinced you're me. Right. You're right. You're right. All right. It's if it's the pinball machine, I go with that. Due to well, let's not think about the machine. Let's just think about the ball because it's a ball versus a ball. It's a spectrum. You can get sexy. You can get nerdy. There mm -hmm. can be a spread eagle Playboy Mansion '70s pinball machine, <laughs> and there can be a Monsters Inc. pinball machine. Totally. Or Garfield's a common one. James Bond. Right. Um, I recently played one that was uh, Stranger Things. Yeah. They, um, they're still making them. Yeah. Yeah. Pirates Pump, of the Caribbean. Pumping them out. Mm -hmm. Dodgeball. Yeah. The movie. There's probably one. I guarantee you there is. Yeah. Every movie that was pretty much ever a success has a pinball machine. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's awesome. The lights and the secret. I love the secret compartment. It falls in it and you're like, now. And the double ball. Yeah. When you get that, it's just amazing. Right. It makes me think, how many balls could I play with? Yeah, I think I think about it too. I'm like, uh, 13 is probably where I yeah, max out. about the baker's dozen of balls put, out there. Yeah, put 13 in there and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I want like a crazy lever. If I own my own, uh -huh. I want to just be able to pull it. Everything goes nuts. My paddles extend a little bit so nothing can get by them when I hold them close. <laughs> All the balls rain down and I just get the... <laughs> yeah, see, I don't like that. You got to be able to lose. Otherwise, winning means nothing. Okay, maybe I can lose, but like four other paddles come out. Like up the side. See, I don't. I, I don't think we need to complicate pinball. I think we <laughs> we perfected it. Pinball is pinball. Some machines are crazier than others. I know, and sometimes they've got a hungry, hungry hippo that pops out or whatever. There's like a paddle. Moo dang it. pinball machine. We're gonna be millionaires. Sorry, we're gonna be billionaires. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Moo oh. dang. Oh, Hawk Tua pinball machine. Moo billionaire. Ooh, I like that. That's my that. new rap name. Moo dang it. I made a billion bucks. Oh. AJ, Big Justice, and the Rizzler pinball machine. We could do meme machines. It's honestly a bonus of fire. It's a pretty good yeah, idea. Pretty Take that over your shark tank. You show me that tank, you little shark-ass Cuban. Yeah, I gotta go pinball. Easy. Yeah, snowball's just snow. Dance versus the movie. It's the dance. Yeah. yeah. It's a full, it's a party, finger food, tuxedo. Mm, dance bad, longer than the movie. Bad bitches in gowns. Right. And that movie, we don't know if it aged well because we haven't done the how did it I've age. I've seen it recently. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you like a little vulgarity a little more than I do. Uh, they don't say any, they don't say like the R word in it or nothing. You sure? Because I remember. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I got I think I got to go with the dance though. Cause yes, it's a full night of extravagant fun. I'm not going to meet the love of my life watching dodgeball, the movie. I assume I will meet the love of my life at a ball slash dance or inside oh. of a Jersey Mike's or something. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> somewhere you wouldn't expect. <laughs> She's really saucing up a sub. She's like more oil. You're like, God, this, what a woman. What a woman. Yeah. She knows how much oil I like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go with ball. Yeah, we'll go with the dance. Elite eight. Elite eight. Eight balls left. Only one ball can win, Riley. Yep, here we go. Basketball versus eight ball. Ba uh, eight, ba ba this one's kind of close. Yeah. I love basketballs. I like playing pool now. More than I like playing basketball, if I'm being honest. I like playing basketball way more than playing pool. I can play like two games of basketball. 
I can play 69 billion games of pool in a night, and I still want more pool. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously less physically taxing, but that's not really what we're judging the balls bracket on. Yeah, I do like a basketball more. I touch it. An eight ball is no different than all the other balls. I guess, in theory, I like it as much as the one. Yeah, I mean, we did talk about the type of person that an eight ball is, though, and There's that's an special. Yeah. That's special, but like if I see a guy walking down the street with a basketball, I'm like, that nah, motherfucker's going to who? I assume he just robbed a gas station. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> usually. <laughs> I'm going basketball. Okay. You remember the Sunoco or the, was it Sunoco? No, was it Shell? Who had the smiley face basketballs? If you fucking do that again, I'll fucking flip out. Seriously, you just fucking ruined the whole show for everyone. Holy shit, I can't believe you just did that. Did you get a load of that, G? Just I broke it, too. The whole aesthetic's going to change, and that's on you. That's on me? Yeah. I was just doing a little tickling. <laughs> no, no, do not fuck around like it. Move basketball forward, and I'm going to try and get past this. Holy shit. I really you don't You fucked see. it the wrong motherfucker, motherfucker. I saw Braze Loca, and I'll go berserko on your ass. You fucking try and tickle me with a little piece of shit again? I will rip your insides out and turn you into a fucking kazoo. Lo siento, they're muchacho. The <laughs> yeah. show's gotten so weird. Keep it crossed. It really buddy. didn't. Yeah. Basketball, all right? Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Starting to sweat, all right? In the spirit of basketball, we'll just power forward. I <laughs> <laughs> got him. I'm, I'm about to posterize your dumb ass and then fuck you in the locker room. Eyeball versus tennis ball. Eyeball. No. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. Convince me. <laughs> the back of an eyeball is kind of gross. Yeah, but I like it. That pink stringy goo that hangs on the back of it. It's the plug uh, to your brain. Totally. You got to go wireless with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's get, Let's get Bluetooth eyeballs <laughs> yeah. going. I, mean, I don't feel like, I feel like it's so weird that we haven't figured that out. When somebody like it pops in, you know, a pirate loses his eye all the time. And then instead of an eye patch yeah. or a glass eye, let's get some Bluetooth suckers yeah. in there that can do the same thing. I uh, switched and I'm going tennis ball. Oh, shit. I got to go eyeball. Okay. Grant. Going tennis ball. All right. Down goes the eyes. Baseball versus volleyball. Getting real basic with the final four, right? Baseball. Right? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's going to be baseball, but it's like, it's weird. Volleyball's chick sport. Well. It's for chicks. It's for, who was the guy you named earlier? Chase Buttinger, yeah. Yeah, he plays it. Yeah, he does. Yep. And volleyball is just a cool sport for everybody. I like that it's one that you can play on the beach with a group of people. It's not like the girls are sitting on the sideline. They got to watch the guys play. You know what I mean? You well, play all that's together. Tom Cruise, the ice player, James. <laughs> It's a Top Gun thing, right? That was me kind of as a fired up drunk Forrest Gump. Let's down crazy in the ice pair jeans. That's a Top Gun reference, though, but I was being a fired up drunk Forrest Gump. Top, top at gunpoint. It's a thrill. Or like it's she's fun. holding it on me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why it's I, in it's my mouth. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> we, both, we both got some in our mouths. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you know, it's communal. Yeah. One's bigger, though. The gun. The gun's bigger. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm imagining it's an old Civil War pistol. It's like a pirate pistol. <laughs> it's a flintlock. <laughs> I'm trying out a new laugh. Yeah, I hate People it. People were saying that yeah, my laugh it. sucks. So Your laugh does suck. Ha! Ah, ah, That's ah, good. Ah, <laughs> oh, like oh, 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 oh yeah. settle down. Baseball. <laughs> no, not that All one. Right, the other one. Option B, please. <laughs> Pinball versus the dance. Just the dance. I feel like we have a more balanced final four if the dance is there. For yes, sure. Totally. But. I can't, I'm, I'd be lying to myself. Okay, you give me you an option. Look at a pinball machine. It's Saturday night, and one of my friends is like, hey, I got a bunch of new pinball machines. They're all in my basement. You want to come check them out? They're all from different movies and TV show franchises. What about the slutty one? The slutty one's in there, too. But that's not the one that I usually go for. Right. I don't really care. Can I come? Yeah, well, this is my night. So <laughs> what am I you doing? get to make your own decision. And there's a big ball that's going I'll on. A gala. At that. And I'm there you go. Definitely at that. See? In the middle of the grind train. Yeah. Getting meatballs shoved in me. And I might be in Greg's basement checking out all those pinball machines. But that there's he's got. A slutty one. Can I come over after? No, you have to pick. It's what one. What am I going to do after? It's choose your own adventure, man. Well, yeah, I want to go to the pinball thing after the ball. You only get to do one thing a night. That's, <laughs> that's how an adventure. That's how nights work. Adventures aren't. One thing, yep. I'll, I'll go to the gold and done. Go <laughs> to the, the gold? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll I'll take what the princess. The hell? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, I don't get that. But either way, yeah. 
yeah. Either way, I think I might hang out in Greg's pinball basement. Okay, I'll mm. choose the ball dance and whatever. I don't like Greg anyway, and you guys are fucking weird around each other. But he's funny. Yeah, but We've you We've got guys, our own bit going. Yeah, you guys kiss a lot, and it's strange. Well, yeah, but it's hilarious. Yeah, it is funny. Every man. single time, we get a reaction out of it. And then I go, I go, dude, the, the joke is that me and Greg, could, we were gay, but we're not. Yeah. And then everybody laughs about that. Grant, where do you go on this? The ball. Yes! All right. Stupid fuck. Greg's gonna fucking love this, though. Like, this video, this is, like, right up Greg's alley. Like, like if we were to make a video, like, it's like a literally if you, like, programmed Greg's consciousness into a computer and spat out his favorite hive mind video, it'd be the ball, ball, balls bracket. Because he's just like that. He's, like, super zany. Oh, I'm gonna hang out with someone else later. Like, for the rest of my life, probably. For the rest of your life? Yeah. That's ridiculous. This is your job. <laughs> really? It can't have gotten that bad. <laughs> you and this Greg thing is too far, and the tickling. I tickled. I once. tried to get over it. It was a one tickling thing. Come on. And uh, Greg likes you. He gives you a hard time, but he likes you. I hate him. He has but, one hand, and I hate that. Okay, that's not his fault. <laughs> kind of. He stuck his hand in the lawnmower. Is that what he told you? Yeah. Dude, he's hilarious. He blew it up doing fireworks on Fourth of July. Then it's his fault. No, it's it. not. His dumbass cousin lit it too fast. Lit it too fast. Yeah, like they weren't ready to light it, and he was like, "Are we ready? Are we ready?" And his cousin lit it, and then he was like, "Wait, what the fuck?" <laughs> Luckily, he stuck his other hand out. Yeah. One one hand in, one hand out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not his fault. I don't care. Maybe it was a lawnmower. Either way, his cousin lit it too fast, whatever it was. <laughs> All right, final four. There's not a poll in the chat yet. Everybody hold your horses. Or do you do a poll for four? We don't, but if they have horses, I guess hold them. Yeah. And cuddle them or whatever. All right, this is kind of rare. Look at this symmetry. Yeah, the color's awesome. Yellow versus purple and yellow versus purple. It's, it's like, like the Lakers, Vikings Lakers or Lakers versus Lakers, LA, LSU. Basketball or tennis ball for the first one? I'll take a tennis ball. It's more dynamic. I do love a basketball, but the fact that the tennis ball comes in a can, the fact mm -hmm. that it becomes a dog treat, the fact that it has a lifespan. I guess a basketball kind of does if you play with it at the park too much. It just becomes a dodgeball at some point. Yeah. Um, and if yeah. we're judging it based on which one my dad can dunk, with, it's a tennis ball. So my dad's 5'11", and he was able to dunk a tennis ball, could mm -hmm. never dunk a real basketball. Played college ball, though. Mm -hmm. Respectable player. Got to respect him at the three. I mean, obviously, <laughs> he'll strap up on you. But And also, no steals ever recorded against the guy. Okay. From high school through college. So if we're judging it on that, tennis ball wins. For sure. And we are. Tennis ball wins. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Baseball versus the dance. I mean, if I'm being realistic, it's the dance. <laughs> really? Oh, mine is baseball 100%. Field of dreams. Yeah. The, 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 uh, yeah. The, the prong. Pronk, too. Yeah, I guess the happening. ball's not really a ball. I mean, and it is. To be honest, if I'm going to a party and it, they're calling it a ball, uh -huh. it does bring it down a little bit. Right. I feel like I'd rather go to a gala. Yeah, gala. Uh huh. Yeah. Or a bacchanal. Or, yeah, definitely a bacchanal. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> a debaucherous bacchanal. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather be a part of a hedonist debaucherous mock and all than a ball. Right. And I, I don't like when it's like a DIY punk space and they're calling it a ball, like ironically. Uh, yeah, you that know is what I mean? the worst. Like, Headbangers ball. Remember when they yeah, did that? Yeah, or like techno ball. Right. The ball of the juggalos. They do blah, that every blah, year. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with the woven mud on Mississippi mud, the prong, sweet crack of the bat. Mm. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. go with the baseball. Yeah. It's finally here. Yeah. And by that, I mean it's almost over. Probably World Series probably over by now. Tennis ball versus baseball, kids. There's a poll in the chat. I understand how that could be a letdown as there's not, you know, testicles aren't here. <laughs> yeah. or dodgeball the movie. A lot of those fun ones that we threw in there. Ball, when it comes ball. down to it, these are the ones that are really the closest balls to our heart. Yeah, kings of the balls. Mm -hmm. King balls here. Yeah, so. So, tennis ball or baseball, what are we thinking here, Graydon, who's my co-host? I do love playing catcher the baseball, but it is hard and can hurt. It's true. Yeah. And I do love playing tennis. And as I mentioned, the dynamic lifespan of a tennis ball from its conception of can to dog's mouth. Much like the Chef Boyardee can of soup that traveled so far. Exactly. It's much, much like that. It is. And also, if you don't have a baseball... You can still play catch with a tennis ball, and it's fun. Yeah. Like, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it works. Yeah, and you can hit a tennis ball with a golf club, and that's fun. Or a baseball bat. Yeah, these are things you can't do with a baseball. Baseball's not as dynamic. Not as dynamic. It is a symbol of Americana. Absolutely. And history and men. Mm. Um, but we all know the bad that comes with that. And men, tennis balls. Men, 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 men,
I'm finishing a thought. Sorry, it's Charlie Theen. And tennis ball come with a hot French girl. <laughs> so what is that? Tennis ball can be a hot French girl, a Swedish girl. So that's that's it. Explain that to me. Like when you watch, like you'll be like, oh, US Open's on. And you're like, whoa, hello. You know what I mean? You've never heard of like Mitzi Fine Sumpo, but she's number four <laughs> in the world and she's got a little skirt on. And when she hits it, she goes, ah! Right, right, right. And that doesn't happen in baseball. Aaron Judge doesn't hit a single and go, ah! Yeah, but good. what about Grady's ladies? We've talked about this. Right, but yeah. they were the ones going, ooh, uh-huh. and he just went. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. There's some ass slapping. That's slightly erotic in baseball. Uh-huh. But they're, I mean. They did the hump celebration this year. They went to each uh, other's. They did each other's cocks. Yeah. They went cock to cock. That was nice. Yeah. It's, but, it's tennis ball. It's tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, tennis ball wins the balls bracket. Okay. And uh, so, Brat, once again, and challengers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Chad, lots of. Nadal. Absolutely. Yeah. Maria Sharapova. Djokovic and his lack of vaccines. Uh huh. His choice, his body. Yep. And uh, a tennis is a tennis of 10 every time. Yes. And I'd love to play with you sometime, Chad. I would love to do that. Absolutely. We should join a tennis league. Oh, I don't know about all that. All right. Tennis ball wins the balls bracket. Let us know which ball is your favorite ball. Let us know what bracket to do next. We've been Hive Mind Unlimited, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, children. Goodbye.